What's happening, yo? Welcome to the Misbelief Radio Show. You are tuned in live on WBOK AM 1230, or you're listening on www.wbok. WBOK 1230AM.com or you'll listen on the WBOK app or, or listen to our podcast available at themisbelieve.podbean.com and on iTunes or, or you're watching us on my Facebook live video because my name's DC Paul, my Facebook is wide open, but the Misbelief, T H E M I S B E L I E F, that yeah, Facebook man. page we shared the video from that one too. Or, or, or you're watching us on my YouTube channel because the misbelief is all over all of these all of these platforms, just like us young multimedia millennials should be. Yeah, man. By the way, my name's DC Paul. I'm the millennial Arsenio. Who's <laughs> 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 gonna do that? Tell people to do that. <laughs> so, Liz, um, and this is a show where, like, me and my amazing, awesome friends highlight this awesome city of New Orleans through our black creative eyes. So, who's this beautiful person to my right side? Hi, everybody. It's me, the one and only, the spectacular, spectacular. the shiny. Shine. You don't have to see me on Facebook Live. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Oh, shoot. What's up, oh, shoot? How you feeling? I feel great. You I feel had like my you first, look? Yeah, I've had my first photo shoot today, so it was amazing. pretty amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Shout out Thank to, you. Shout out to Miss Believe TD, Miss Dana Boisseau. 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 She was Boisseau. on the Believe Radio Show yeah. last week, gave us an awesome mass interview and gave us great energy and then she came through like a true auntie's post too, you heard me. T D uh, she came through mm-hmm. and directed our photo shoot today. Got my baby misbelief. I'm gonna put my baby Oshun hair and makeup together. Uh it's just been an awesome ass Saturday. It's yeah. been a good Saturday so far. Uh so who's this to my left side? Over here, over here, coming with the rawness of Lawrence and the swagger king. It's the only Martin you need for that 2018. It's that after guy Martin Bass Bradford. But you can just call me Bass. I'm in this building. You hear me? Fly with him. Fly with <laughs> him. <laughs> That's who that is. My man Bass. And who's that to his left? It's J. Seal keeping it real, eating all the food and taking all y'all rap holes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you gotta make it rhyme. <laughs> I thought it was going somewhere. I didn't know it was. <laughs> it eating was, all the but, food then, but then it stopped. Eating Take all it. the food and the five dollar meals. That's what I was Taking your grandpa <laughs> meal. <laughs> and who's this? To my immediate right side. So yo, this is Malik, the historical geek. I'm the I'm the wonderful delight. I get all the facts right. Word. Ooh. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Everybody got a ooh moment. Huh? <laughs> and who's that in the booth? Nah, with me? It's five dollar. Yeah! 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 I hear you, man. No, honestly, man, when you when after the show we go outside, we're gonna peer up into the sky. The way that the stars are aligned right now, or the way the exact way they were the night of your birthday. So that's like your star set. That's your star pattern up there for you specifically. So like gaze at it, my man, and like this being your golden birthday, I hope you're able to um to, to have uh, not just introspection but uh out outrospection. Like looking forward mm-hmm. into like um everything that you have coming into your into your young manhood. I love you and I'm proud of you man and I'm glad to have you back in the booth. Happy birthday Joseph. And these were the way the exact stars were aligned when your parents had intersection. Ah. <laughs> yeah. He went into See, a whole I thought, I thought that's where it was going in the first place. Me too no. I thought that's where it was going. I was no, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, Me too I, I, thought, I thought he was having a Karen Green moment. I, I, oh I, I, yeah I, 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 I was dedicated and constantly to my homie Joseph. I mean, that's, that, those are your stars, man. You a star, and the, the way the sky looks right now is for you. Yes. Listen, I hosted the Gospel Awards last week. I'm a change man. Okay. Did you, did you say, oh, I know I've been changed. Yo, yo, I know I've been changed. Oh, 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 I know I've been changed. I'm DC Paul, y'all. I'm DC Paul. <laughs> yo, yo, you're so proud of me. I hosted the NOLA Gospel Awards last week. Last week. I only used the N-word two times, uh, so shout out to me. Um, and I only made one vagina joke, so... Ooh, you Lord, made a vagina joke in the house of the Lord? Lord? Because I, I thought I, I, thought I was, was quoting the word. It turns out I was quoting Teddy Riley or somebody like that. So I didn't, I, I didn't have my, my, my facts straight. I, I thought I was reading out of the book. 
um, it wouldn't quite. The Book of New Jack Swain? Yeah, I think I'm going to say New Jack City. The Book of New Jack City. The Book of New Jack Swain, brand new testament. That's what that was. No, honestly, I, I kept it clean because, you know, I'm, I, I mean, I keep it clean on the radio for two hours <laughs> every Saturday night, so I'm capable of it. But it was, uh, it was more challenging than I thought it was, man. Like, uh, getting them folks to laugh at stuff, um, like, looking people in the eye and just. Knowing that you like a good inward joke, ma'am. I know you got your church hat on right now. I know you. I know you like a good inward joke, but I'm gonna spare you and try to make a joke about something you might relate to outside of the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> and it, was, it was a challenge, but I did it. I did it. Shout out to me. <laughs> so, man, y'all had an amazing show with us last was week. Fun. Oh it my was goodness! Phenomenal. If you are, if you're listening, if you're watching. I'm going to tell you, this episode is probably going to be good, too, but go back and listen to or watch last week's episode. Uh, yeah, yeah. Great interviews, two great interviews, and a great performance, and great energy all through the studio. Can I we, loved can it. Can I talk about how, first of all, Ms. Dana had me in tears, and I was just like, I'm not going to cry on the radio, that's so whack, so I'm not going to do it. And then Karen Green came yeah. in here, and I was like, just be the light. <laughs> just be the light. I wasn't even there for it, but I could feel like yeah. the energy in the room. Miss Dana, I'm sorry I wasn't here for that interview because she had been supporting the misbelief since like the we very shot our very first pilot episode. Um, I didn't know who she was at the time, but she had like a big kind of purple burgundy afro, and um, every time I've seen her since then, um, I like she was striking and distinctive. Right. I knew she was somebody. I later found out exactly what she did, and I mean. Um, it, I, she's clearly so lovable, as we all, as we all can see. And she has a new title. Miss Believe TD. The That's how it's called TD. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> if you don't know. Um, I, I think that, I believe that she was originally a friend of India's, and that's how she uh, she first was introduced to the misbelief. So shout out to India Mac. We miss you. I hope they're using you to your your best uh, your your best usefulness. Your most Utah. Magnus. Yes. Right. <laughs> so be black where you at with India Mac. We had something going on this week. Oh. What happened? Oh, are what? we going to talk about Monique? <laughs> oh. Do we have to talk about Monique? I think we I should. I think Monique has been talked about nope. enough. Nope. Nope. We don't have to talk about Monique. Straight up. She, she, she's not relevant. We, we don't have to talk about Monique right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it a second. Uh, we don't have to talk about it right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we're not open. Okay, well, I mean, she's not out oh, yet. When are we going to bring up Monique then? Mm -hmm. It might be okay, a little well, later. I know we, we, we brought up Monique early. I know that we have varying opinions on on her and people in this room. So I, I, I do want to touch on her. On the subject, as a black comedian, a little bit later on, uh, we could talk about how they found ninety-two thousand pounds of uh, Mardi Gras beads in these catch basins <laughs> alone. You need to stop taking about what's going on now, Chiz, bro. You can't. He just up here talking about news stories. This <laughs> one, okay. And Gosh, effort. What y'all got for the for the opening? We took a pretty damn the good photo shoot. Yes, yes. Amazing. Amazing. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for these new pictures uh, for season two to come out. We got great promo with everybody's beautiful face in it. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Joey Harden at uh, Capture Nola. And shout out to Miss Dana Boisseau mm -hmm. from T F H Television Film Hair Academy. Academy. <laughs> there you go. Can I say that this was my first photo shoot? I got about that up earlier. Really. It was my first photo shoot. I was nervous and I was the last one to go. Yeah, the makeup took forever. So my makeup did take forever. I was forever. like, damn, how big is her face? You know? <laughs> I mean, it took damn. a long time, and then I had to change clothes because Miss Dana was like, "No, you're not wearing that." You so go get your other blouse, and I was like, "Okay," and I went to go get my other blouse, and I had to put it on. But they had to put this cape, which y'all didn't see was I got my makeup done before I changed, so they wrapped my face in a cape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then I had cape. to take the shirt off, and then put this shirt on, and it was just too much for me to handle. But we rocked that photo shoot. Imagine all of us in one room at the same time, was, not on camera. Mm, it yeah. was. Yeah. I mean. I mean, uh, Ms. 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 Dana, like, I think we probably all got a story from her today of just yeah. all of her hooking us up so heavily. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, like you said, shouts out to the Miss Believe Tita, man. She made me get naked. <laughs> <laughs> she said, bring the sexy. Bring yeah, the man. Sexy. Speaking of bringing the sexy, so uh, <laughs> beautiful Brian, our producer, he took them glasses off. He bit his lip. He thought he was Shamar Moore for a moment. <laughs> Didn't he? He undid yeah. one, of them, one of them buttons yeah. and showed some chest hair. I was like, Brian. That's Brian. Brian. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to make oh, love. He, he pulled his thing out on the camera. I'm like, Brian, it's too nasty. It's the Superman. Yeah. You too. 
You too bad. She was, she was, she was giving the camera. You had to pull it out yeah. of the camera. And then I had some gentleman eyes. I'm in the bathroom and I hear him saying, "Make love to the camera." And I'm like, "Who's <laughs> making love to the camera? Who's look back at the camera?" I was like, oh, "Smack the camera." I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, if y'all are wondering why we had a photo shoot, uh, the Misbelief has been officially renewed for a second year. Yeah. We, uh, so we're going to call it our second season um, starting in the middle of February. Uh, we're going to start seeing some new promo. Yeah. And um, uh, just going forward, we're going to do better about, um, like, we just took pictures of uh, different segments. We got pictures for Dead Neck. We got pictures for the Misbelief Misses. Mm-hmm. Pictures for the St. Kofa Sessions. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to do things where we can divide up the segments and use the images that we have so that you can only listen to or share the segment that you want, just like they do on the Breakfast Club and right. stuff like that. So, yeah, just going forward, you know, just... Um, we about to get it in! Expand yeah. the brand. Yeah, yep, so people can get Season to know, two. Get to know these awesome-ass characters. Joe. <laughs> um, what did you do for your birthday that you can say on the Because the FCC is always listening. Uh, I got a breakfast from Triangle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Was that your first breakfast from Triangle? <laughs> okay. It's been a while. So we're not fooling with triangles or mammals. <laughs> <laughs> They've been doing about six, seven months. Yeah, just, just don't go for the breakfast. Yeah, I'm going to stand for triangle, man. No, I like their <laughs> breakfast. That's all I'm saying. You meant that. He yeah. Had, he had to take a, take a stand. <laughs> I believe you, their breakfast cheese. You're right. right. I'm right. You're right. <laughs> so, so what's it? The grits? Did they put cheese We're in it? We're not going to jump into it. Because breakfast is a hard meal to mess up on. I mean, it's just that, um, you know, Danny's type of breakfast. Oh, it wasn't grits and, and artery. Yeah. Now, remember he got his breakfast taste buds. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's real. Yep. It's the breakfast taste buds. So it's the breakfast taste things. buds. Okay, so that's the only thing you did that's, that's safe to talk about is, is the breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> Man, your, your birthday must have been lit. <laughs> nice. Aww. What is your favorite color? Blue. Okay. Ball shades. Right. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, my God. Watch out, Smurfs! Okay. Watch out, Smurfs! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, you got you got a song queued up for me, <laughs> Mr. Alpha Man Joe. Oh, oh, I love Zeno so much, man. Uh, Zeno, can I tell a quick story about Zeno? Go ahead. Uh, your show. Word, word on the street <laughs> was that uh, he had auditioned for American Idol, mm. and he made it up to a certain point. He even got the call back to go to Hollywood, but then, like a few days before uh, he was supposed to fly out. He got a letter saying like we we changed up this and that so no thank you you know mm. um, but but I told Zeno you know, this like days before that man like that dude if you see him at the jazz market on Wednesdays he he got it coming to him he'll oh, need he'll need he'll need American Idol that boy's talented um, great energy great spirit great voice great music so here's hell of a woman mm-hmm. by Zeno Moonflower y'all stay tuned to the Misbelief Radio Show and don't get nothing on you <laughs> and I'm gonna come with the vibe. Ain't we vibing out the vibe? Somebody sort of look. What happened? Where, where, where did the vibe come from? He said he's doing this on Sydney, so I'm going to do the Sinbad this day. So listen, people, and some some older comedians in the city have been approaching me. Three of them now recently have approached me saying, like, uh, you know, you're better than Arsenio Hall. You don't want to attach yourself to him. Here's the truth. I don't. I'm not even that familiar with Arsenio Hall's comedy. He just I'm rhymes. not. Uh, it said the name Ronald and Lemio. If Arsenio Hall came to me and was like, what's, what's your favorite joke of mine? I'd be like, uh, everything he did in Coming to America. I'm about to say, <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm about to say Mama 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 Bruce. Bruce. So I use the word Arsenio oh, as a noun that means yeah, funny yeah. black holes that you see every night. It's not that I have an Arsenio Hall obsession. He cool. I'd like to meet him one day. Um, but I just want that's for Red Bean, that's for Jeff D. Um, and that's for all the other comedians who think that I want to be a senior hall. Mm. I don't. I just like to come up with. Well, hold on, wait, hold on. I just come got one thing to say. Moment. However, Arsenio had the best late night talk show mm-hmm. in history, 
And he got them checks. And, and if so you go on YouTube and watch Arsenio Hall, <laughs> title episode and all the rappers. You mean as a host, most you're, right, no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. And and I, and also because I would like to follow in his footsteps. He started as a yeah. comedian, became a host, host, and it was yeah. on late night. That's right. what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. And if he said he wanted to be OJ, then we'd have a problem. Right. You know, yeah. some yeah. people yeah. like, oh, you, you come on, you. You, you're tying yourself down trying to be like Arsenio Hall. Hall. He was an actor. He was a host. Right. He was a comedian. He was a host. 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 Not a ho. <laughs> he may have been because never mind. We ain't going to that. I ain't going to go to Sinead O'Connor said Arsenio Hall gave he, Prince that call. Why am I trying to with OJ yes. Rock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a cutthroat baller like OJ Simpson. No, we got to okay. okay. with OJ. Hi, guys. Crazy. So, uh, I'm Oshu, and we have a lot of new time. Um, mm -hmm. A, a lot of new time listeners, so I'm just going to shout you guys out while you guys type on all your Hi, listeners. Um, Blue Steel. Let me get, because he's not going to give me this Your first time. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching us. I hope we're living up to our whole Thank you, Blue Steel, whoever you are. What is going on? I know he's doing something. And I can't figure it out. Okay, Michael Seabury. Thank Hi, you. Michael Seabury. Thank you for loving our energy. I also hope you stay for a long time and peep us out. Um, Megan says hi. Megan also says rejection is God's protection. Okay. And so I agree with that sometimes. sometimes respect your steps, man. Respect your steps. Respect your steps. Yes, I, I agree with that a lot of the time. Who else we got? All of our friends. We have 11 viewers today. Hi, viewers. So this is amazing. Um... You guys should really stay tuned. It's going to be a really good show. Right. Guys. We're going to have a packed house. We're going to have Shaggy in a minute. Is it a packed house? A packed house. Oh, a packed house. <laughs> Shaggy's going to be in a minute. You hear him going on the one twos, tuning up. The very talented. Okay. Wow, that? what's going on? So these are, oh, is this Miss Believe, Mrs. Ty? No, we were just talking. Just to we just chilling. Well, take it. Uh, so. What's up, Marie? What's going on, you what's know? What's poppin', y'all? Y'all see gonna be a good Jeff Steele today. today. She was, Jason um, Jay Steele. Damn. No, I wasn't correcting you. I no. Was just saying my name. No, I, I fucked up. <laughs> we was oh, also drinking Crown Raw like before I left my house. Without. My hey. brother, I wanted to bring the bottle, but my she brother, brought the bottle. he killed it before we had something. I still alive. Oh, okay. Okay, what's going on? Oh, I still see you. No, no. I didn't touch anything. It just did this, B. What is this? What is this? Okay. So, so that should be Oh shoot. Yes, I have a highlight. Let's talk about this highlight. I have a contour, whatever that means. I also have like she glued my listen, my self story about the lashes. So she put these lashes on, but she told me to keep my eyes closed. So when I went to open my eye, my lash all like right there. Uh, and she was like, it's okay, it's okay, I got it. No worries. You're getting some love, Ocean. Kelsey know. says you're looking lovely. Look hey, Kelsey! I was going to give you a little preview of our uh, Studio 1230 performance, I believe. Shaggy? It's Mr. Shaggy. Shaggy's on time. little sound check. What's going on? What's up, Facebook Live? It's me, Bruce Smith. Shagadelic. Shagadelic. Tell us what you do. What up, y'all? My name is Shagadelic. I got an album out now called The Only Love I See Available on Spotify, Apple Music, all major streaming sites. Uh, it's my fourth self produced project. I'm from New Orleans. I really appreciate everybody checking it out. I'm getting a lot of good feedback from it. So the people like it. If you haven't heard it, I'm sure you'll love it. You can follow me on Instagram at Shagadelic504. That's S. S H A double G A D E L I C five zero four double G because I'm twice as much as a G clearly. 
So the song that I'm about to do wait, right now. Wait, no, 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 oh, no, 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 Really? Yeah, that's like uh, when you started, like, what made you start uh, music? Uh, what you sing and rap? Or? Uh, well, I, I mean, I, that, that's like extracurricular for okay. me. I, um, I'm a musician first and foremost. I, uh, I'm from the Batiste family. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure it's Batiste. I like yeah, talking about right. my I don't yeah, talk about no, myself, but I'll talk about baby. that. I'm from the Batiste family, and you know, we've been doing music in the city for a long time. Absolutely. So I was kind of like born into it. Okay. And I was born a drummer, my, all of my brothers are drummers and stuff like that. Okay. And that's mainly what I got going on. But over the years, I went to Noka, and they made all of the uh, drummers play the piano oh, okay. because we were kind of good. So okay. we had to do other stuff, and from there, that's where I just kind of kept things going. That's dope, man. Part of the Batiste family. What, um, what inspires you? Uh, what inspires me? Um, I don't know. I can't even tell you. Who I inspires you? That's a better question. You? Yeah, who inspires you when you're making your music? Like, I mean, well, I definitely uh, have a lot of... Yeah. Okay, yeah. right now? Um, yeah, because the song... Which song you song? Yeah. Back. Yeah, I do it all, man. I do it all. Shagadelic504 on Instagram, um, Facebook, all that stuff. The only love I see available now. You can go stream it. Check it out. Thanks for talking. This man got to do. Yes, Alright, thanks, River. Alright. Hey, Shaggy, Shaggy. What's cracking? Well, that song was going off. That's what I was pushing. Come on, Shaggy, Shaggy. Oh, yeah? Yep. Would you like the water or do you have one? Okay, let's move this on the side. Cool. Man, I just got to find out if Shaggy's going to go for my dog's down the street. We're going to get this in this place. What kind of dog's are you going to be with? Pitbull. They got to escape from under my yard. So I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. Oh, my goodness. like... I don't know. Chasing pitbulls. Yeah, pitbulls, right? Pitbulls and pitbulls. <laughs> I had to change my outfit. I'm like, fuck. Take all my stuff off. Oh. Yeah, man. How are you feeling the website, man? I like it. I like yeah. it. Wait, one of the Wi Fi's is no one ever really dies? No. Not here. That's deep. Yeah, man, this is right here. <laughs> this is one of the Wi Fi's at the station, or somewhere around this station. Right. That's NERD, though. That's what NERD stands for. It was. You're right. You're right. And we are back. We're back. We're back. Welcome back to the Miss Believe Radio Show, you guys. Um, you're listening live on WBOK 1230 AM. And if you're listening and feel like calling, give us a call at 504 260 and talk to us. We're a bunch of cool ass black millennials from right here in New Orleans. And um, we like talking to folk we don't know all that well. By the way, I'm DC Paul, the millennial Arsenio, slim waist, baby face, deep voice, number one choice, and the hardest working man in media and show business in New Orleans. And um, my friends are cool as F. Who is this to my right side? Hi, everybody. It's me, the cool as, you know what, Oshun. Uh-huh. Who is this to my left? That actor guy, Mr. Bats. Word up. Who got to his left? It's Jay still keeping it real, loving life, and eating. Uh-huh. And who that is in the booth? Malik the Freak. And then who is that on the, on, on the board? Boy, boy, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> The way he, the way he leaned, the way he leaned up on the microphone like he had something important to say. What, is, uh, what was that last song you played, Gumbo Joe? <laughs> I'm gonna call you Gumbo Joe for the rest of the night. I promise you, I will. Oh, shout out to Trey Parker, man. He sang uh, mm -hmm. at Geneva's birthday party. Um, shout out to him. That's one of Raheem friends. We only play music by local and mostly independent artists right here on the Miss Believe Radio Show. So if you are local and or independent artists here in New Orleans, and you make radio-friendly music. Radio-friendly. People, did, we, have to, we have to emphasize that, because folk be sending me stuff, no and N like, words. the N-word is absolutely not radio-friendly. <laughs> um, just cut that one word out, and cut all the other words out that you can't mm -hmm. say. Send it to us at dubmisbelief at gmail.com. We will add you to the playlist and play it, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We tend to like most of the music that people send to us. True. We, we, don't, we don't get too much whack music, so... Um, mm -hmm. Um, so send us your stuff, and let's hear it on the radio. 
Yep. We're here with our first interview guest here on episode 47 of the Misbelief Radio Show, Shagadelic. What's the deal? What's happening, man? What happened to the boys? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. The man is great. It's a lot of people. Ryan Shagadelic Batiste. So we're. You better watch with your mouth. We we um always ask our our guests this question first on the Misbelief Radio Show. You know what Misbelief is? What a misbelief is. What is a misbelief? Um, oh, yeah, I guess. Cool. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is your misbelief? Or what is, like, the y'all's, like, <laughs> He's about like, to come with it, but he's not to believe. Like, what is the oh, definition no. what of is... my definition? Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay, come on. Give us yours. So my definition of misbelief <laughs> is something that you uh, misbelieve. Let me see. You don't really believe. Not necessarily don't really believe, but believe that's not correct. Not true. Yeah. That's right. That's every true. every guest that don't know what a misbelief <laughs> is, they have exact same answer. <laughs> How many people said that? Oh man, all the bunk people who don't, who don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about um, good. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait. So look, look at this, this, this fruit right here. Have you have you seen this fruit around the city? They call them Japanese plums, the Chinese plums, yes. the Chinese. We have some in, across from my house. What do you call them? Uh, like them orange things, plums or something like plums? something, something yeah. incorrect. Yeah. Something incorrect. You didn't call them misbeliefs? Oh, he said. Is that what they call them? Exactly. Okay, that's uh, what it is. That's what they call them, but it's not the real word for it. But that's what they call it in New Orleans. Japonic is the other, the other loquats, everything else you said yeah. are the real so words. So you, um, you said you had a tree right across the street from your house? Yes. What what neighborhood? Uh, from the 12th Ward. I'm from Uptown. I knew it. Like UPT Scott. Okay. okay. Uh, so you, what you, did you used to like to eat them or you just used to look at them? No, nah, I didn't really eat them. But, uh, I mean, because... What did you, you know, do for them then? I didn't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was, right it was, but, but that's the thing. It was across the... It wasn't on my property, so I couldn't go on um, there. You know what I'm saying? And grab if you them. wanted to. That's what we no, all that's did. That's what you do, though. You hop fences, you go on the cars, you kill dogs, let, you do everything. Let me ask y'all a question. What's on Tulane and Broad? <laughs> The jail. A bunch of people who were locked up for stealing fruit off of some trees. I don't know nobody getting arrested. I don't know about that. I feel like he did some things that are much more risky. Much more risky than that. In my gentrified neighborhood, I don't want to jail for stealing. You're right about that. I'm right. That's real. Shag, you are uh, uh, such a uh, talented person. You're a multi instrumentalist. Yes. A rapper. Yes. Producer. Yes. Uh, What else? More. What don't you do? Well, I You're actually, a businessman. Uh, you just opened up a... Uh, my LLC, yeah. My production company, we produced an event called Future Families of Funk at Tipitinas that was pretty successful. And I actually, I'm going to be linking up with Winter Circle Production and do some Ooh. event over at uh, The Joy. The Joy, I'm going to say. Winter Circle will be at The Joy. Nice, yeah, man. Yeah, we're going to be producing some stuff over at The Joy. The same event. They love they loved the idea. And I got another idea. I'm going to just give you all a little, little sprinkle of this. Oh, it's an exclusive. event called... Right, it's exclusive. This is an event called Paint Nola. Paint. It's gonna be Ooh. Paint Nola. Same thing. It's Paint a, it's Nola. A, uh, no. Well, yeah, I know. I was thinking about that, and I don't know how I'm gonna say it, but whatever. Paint Nola, and uh, it's a big paint party. Pretty much, it's not like a Eureka moment. It's just gonna be a big paint party where everybody wears all white. And you come to paint yourself. Oh my God. Like, like, okay. We're going to have food out there. We're going to have music and vendors and all that stuff like that. Oh, and I might try to see if I can get the Millennial Arsenio to host oh, this. Oh, man. Okay. If he's available, you know what I'm saying? I would we could get our fat girl that. Nola Stan. I would enjoy every- hosting this. <laughs> <laughs> what up, what up, Malik? There we go. We'll be in the building. We'll be in the building. That might even come out the back cave for that one, huh? I'm, I'm going to need you to get a whole bunch of uh, contracts drawn up to Let's make make sure people know that everything is consensual. Right. I don't want to get sued. <laughs> right. I don't want any bull crap happening. There we go. What are you talking about? From painting, you know, because that's a very, it could be a very intimate act painting. Okay, painting on really? each other. You said we paint on each on other, each right? Other? I mean, it's well, so, it, We're painting on each other. That's what I just, thought. I imagine uh, people kind of just tossing paint around. And a you, lot, it's you know, a lot of everything stationed. Mm-hmm. Where you can throw like some <laughs> dust, some gold dust. Like now, I, I need some papers printed out, and I want you to make sure that oh, they know right. if I throw some paint on them, right. they consented right. for the splat. So it's all good. So that's all good. Right. Right. Yes. Now they consented right. for the splat. The splat like going to Tulane and Bro. <laughs> no, 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 no,
I've been working on it for some time now. Um, it's your fourth project. Yeah, it's my fourth one that I put out. Uh, I produced the whole thing. I mixed the whole thing. Did the mastering. Wrote all the stuff for the people that sing. Got the instrumentalists. I know you did. All that stuff. <laughs> 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 you did all of that stuff. But pretty much saying that, I put a lot of work into it. That took a lot of time. That it just didn't happen. Just you know, within a certain amount of time, I've been mm -hmm. dealing with this one since the last one, which may have been twenty fifteen. So I've been kind of just kind of like piecing things together and, you know, taking time because a lot of my music is real organic based upon experiences like throughout mm -hmm. that I live every day. You right. know, mm -hmm. like a lot of my music is like me saying what I do on a daily basis. So for me to like stay in the studio and write, you know, all day like Michael Jordan at the end of Space Jam when he was signing mm -hmm. up, I can't do that. You know, what I'm it, and it'd be reference. natural. You know, I got to go out. And live, right. and I hate it, but go on Bourbon Street. Right. Go yeah. be a tourist in yeah. New Orleans, beautiful Nouvelle Orleans. Right. You know oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Go some, go some. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, you're the, you're the two chains in New Orleans, right? Yeah. You really are. You, you absolutely are. I Except thought you said Snoop. I don't, I, don't think that, I don't think that two chains or Snoop uh, do half the stuff you do, right? Nah. Like, uh, how many instruments you play? I think it's uh, drums, I piano, so you gotta <laughs> right. guitar. Uh, uh, well, you said drums, piano, what else? Guitar. Drums, piano, bass, guitar. Bass, guitar. Oh, wow. Um, uh, to be honest, Shaq's credit, I watched him teach himself the flute. Impressive. Uh, <laughs> 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 nice. Um, I can do that with straight face. Uh, that on top of writing, producing, um, and rapping, and everything, and nice, yeah. bro. Good stuff. So, yeah. so this uh, this new project, the only love I see, mm -hmm. you have singles from it. Is that no lies? Yes, sir. No lies and uh, out of space. Okay. Ooh. Who'd you work with? I'm, I'm feel bad asking who'd you work with, but I take it you had some collaboration somewhere, right? You or not? Uh, oh, um, well, I mean, I got uh, a couple of people that's featured on the album. Who uh, you got? Um, I got Honey Savage. I have. Okay. I have um, my cousin Cash Akbar. I have um, da, 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 da. Kevin Styles. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. He's been here. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I got Kev on there. Uh, I got some instrumentalists. My uh, my homie Rob Ramson. My homie that I went to school with, Doyle Cooper. Um, a couple of people. A couple of people. Okay. Did some side, you know. Um, so, for this album, do you have a one or maybe a few experiences in particular that helped to shape it? Like you said, you you know you have to get out. You have to mm -hmm. experience things. So, do you have a particular experience that influenced this album? Um, not really a particular like, you know, sort of certain even certain things or whatever. But it's just kind of like a collaboration of like good music. Like one thing I was doing a um an interview with uh Nicole Tinson from Dillard. <laughs> D D D D D D U. I never knew what that was, but uh, <laughs> it's fine. No one knows what that is. No, no, I know it's just, just them two. But go ahead. But uh, what you're you Dillard alum. It's all that matters. I don't care about that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Me. Shout out to Dillard. But um, what you call it? Uh, I was doing an interview with her, and she kind of asked me to kind of describe my music and stuff like that. And I was saying <clears throat> it was hard for me to like put like a genre around it. So what I kind of came up with is that it is. The feel good music of the new millennium. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Because it just, I would, I would, I would agree. It I would just agree. feels good. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, it's right. not, not it, it, well, the particular instance was me feeling good like every day. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and it just mm -hmm. kind of came like that. You know, almost. Which are uh, some of your favorite songs from the album? And not the singles, but the ones that you like, that you like for whatever reason. Um, it's hard, man, because not to sound, I hate talking about myself, but the whole thing, if you listen to the thing, like, from beginning to end, it'll, like, flow perfectly, so it is so hard, but some particular ones that I like is Change Your Life, a lot of people told me that they like Change Your Life, um, what you call it, uh, uh, Ode to You, because it's kind of like a slow, so, it's, you gotta check it out. Will, you gotta, you gotta I, check I, it out. It's, like, it's hard. I, I don't. It's like I got a million songs from the thing that I like because I like all of them. Damn near, it, almost yeah. dang near. You can say damn. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> damn near. Yeah. <laughs> Equally, yeah. I like all of them. So, nice. Yeah. I need to know how and when did you fall in love with music? For someone who can teach themselves, mm. 
damn near every intro- instrument <laughs> ever all created, of. like you all walk in man band. I am the Literally. band. Right. Literally. You, uh, when and how did you fall in love with well, the music? the boys of Right, that's true. Exactly. Well, he just stole the shine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's what I meant. My family has a long lineage of musical history and uh, enrichment in the city of mm-hmm. New Orleans. Facts. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, we've been doing it for a long time. You didn't know my cousin Jonathan, he just became the band director for The Late Night with Stephen mm-hmm. Colbert. Mm-hmm. The guy. Mm-hmm. The <laughs> yeah, that's my cousin. That's my first cousin, too. So, you know, we've been doing it for a long time. We just said winning in our blood. I know. You we know. We just do fabulous family. Like, we live royalty. You hear me? Loki. Loki. <laughs> Loki. I'm just here. I'm the last. I'm the youngest Baptiste. My dad has 14 kids. Wow. I can name them. Wow. wow. I think seven go. boys and seven girls. Go. That means he ain't a We ain't got no go. Go. Okay, go. so the boys, we got Russ, Damon. I'm trying to do it in order. Russ, Damon, David, Aaron. Jamal, Keevan, well, Keevan, Jamal, that was six, Jamal six, Ryan, that's seven, I'm number seven. My sisters, Tasha, Mindy, Miranda, Ebony, Chanel, uh, Tish, and uh, man. Give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry last around. sister. I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you, but, but there's this invention. It's it's made of rubber. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Stop, stop. I don't think he ever did it because my dad loves to tell me how good his life was. He's just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he loves he was to, he's like, Ryan, I've been across the world. <laughs> I've had five wives. <laughs> I've had 14 children. <laughs> for real, for real. For this real. man has lived. I've done drugs. I, and I'm and I'm good. And he's what teaching is- children right now. He's a community liaison for renewed schools for like four different schools. Uh-huh. And That's he's beautiful. bringing kids. He's doing. They, everybody's busy. Bro, I used to yeah. teach with your dad, and he's such yeah. a positive mm-hmm. spirit. Mm-hmm. He'll mm-hmm. sit back and just run it with you, no matter the, the smallest, the oldest. He just like good people. So I can mm-hmm. say that straight up. I mean, mm-hmm. just experience. But let, let me ask you something, you Ryan Batiste, <laughs> Galaxy, Shag. Mm-hmm. You got a bunch of names. You like it's a funny thing. You're young in your career, but you're yeah. still kind of like a vet because you've been you've been at this music thing for years yes, at this point. So I want to ask. I want I want you to think about this. What would you What would you be able to tell? What would you want to tell your yourself ten years ago? Like your younger self. How old are you right now? Twenty five. Just so, turned twenty five. So what's something you tell your fifteen year old self right now? 15 years, I'm trying to think of what I was doing at 15. I'm always bad at that. How, what grade are you in at 15? Ninth or 10. Ninth grade, yeah. okay. So, hmm, ninth grade, okay, freshman. Uh, honestly, well, if I could go back, hmm, mm-hmm, no, because in high school, <laughs> no, honestly, because in high school, I wasn't like lame or what you would consider like a lame person, but I wasn't like the... Fresh crisp dickies with the G nights, the all whites, and the stuff. So I was like wearing vans. I used to skateboard with me and my homies. And so stuff. you like, hey, or, or if you, or, <laughs> you, what you, what you, you, what you, you right? What you, there would, you go. What you would call me in, in a traditional <laughs> New Orleans public school? Because I went to Mathis. Oh, okay. Which was uh, a lame school, you know. So yeah. you could, you know. I mean, it was. A, I won't. I won't get into it. I won't First call. First of all, y'all. Can't say y'all school had two subjects. Science and math. The name of school, math and science or science and math? We always call it math and science, but it is science and math. Oh. So you don't know the name of your school, right? Nah. <laughs> hey. hey, that's what we call it. It's like a nickname, you know? <laughs> it's just the same thing backwards. <laughs> science and math, math and science. <laughs> potato, <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> Ryan Batiste, Batiste Ryan. You can call me whatever. Interchangeable. What you but, 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 but you answer the question. Oh, okay, right, <laughs> what would you tell yourself? What would I tell myself? <laughs> back, um, back when you was at science and or I would, <laughs> tell, <laughs> I would tell myself, don't try to fit in. Okay. Continue doing what you're doing just the way you're doing it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Nice. That's nice. good advice. Yeah. Nice. Don't change, advice. Yeah. don't change advice. Yeah. Don't change it. What you got, Joe? Is this your schoolmate? From high school and through college, and uh, you know, I just, I just watched the brother grow up. I'm glad to see him doing his thing. This is the uh, fourth album. I'm about to cop yeah. from him. Uh, I had a quick uh, listening party I was able to go to, so I, you know, got it in with him real early. 
And uh, I was, if you haven't seen Shag, man, Shag's a prodigy on the drums. Mm -hmm. I know all the Shag family because I performed with his daddy. Actually, the first time I performed with Shag was uh, for a pregame show when the uh, Pelicans were in the playoffs against the San Antonio Spurs. And we performed in front of thousands. You're going to be a good grandpa. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> He's great at it, though. He's great at it. He's the voice on the board. He did a finger there. He's like, well, I remember that. That's the first time it happened. I always knew that Shaq was going to be something great, and Shaq is just one of those guys that I know I'm going to see up at the mountaintop pretty soon. Facts. Really? I mean, boy, he's he really tall enough. He's going he to have to take one step of walk the mountain. He's going to be there. I'm going to yeah. say that before Shag uh, goes to, uh, to... So, by the way, Shag's going to perform something live in Studio 1230. So, tune in to the Misbelief Facebook Live video right now. He's going to give us an exclusive performance. Uh, the first award I ever won. Uh, Shag, you was there getting the award. I, I know it wasn't your first award. <laughs> I know it wasn't <laughs> But um, I felt like um, I did feel good being uh, compared with being a contemporary of yours. Like, okay, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I knew who you were already. You know what I mean? Um, so, like, uh, yeah, that that to me was a, a proud, proud moment. So tell the people where they can get the album. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, that was a bad segue. I'm taking it in the moment, baby. No, you just told me the real. I'm proud of you. I'm doing a little right. essence. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a sniff first? Exactly. Yes. Well, my Angela was. You can find it on all streaming sites. What you call it? The iTunes, Spotify, iTunes. iTunes. Wow. Okay, uh, SoundCloud. Okay, and then where can they follow you on the social network? Shagadelic five zero four. That's S H A double G because it's twice a G. Mm -hmm. A okay. E L I C five zero four. Okay, and then we got your single uh, queued up to play, right? Word. Which one? Which oh, one? which one did you? Where I was gonna perform that. Okay, dope, dope. Okay, so this That's is what? Me. This is Outer Space by Shagadelic. Tune into the Facebook Live, share this video because he's gonna perform Outer Space right there in cool. Studio 1230. Um, and if you're listening, do stay tuned because when we come back, Miss Courtney Celestine from Rock and Lemonade is in the studio. Mm -hmm. She got lemonade samples mm -hmm. and um and a story to tell. Mm -hmm. So um this is mm -hmm. Outer Space by Shagadelic. Stay tuned to the Misbelief Radio Show and don't get nothing on you. Hashtag bib life. <laughs> Don't get none on you. What's up, y'all? We got the link to two songs. Okay, cool, for sure. Excellent, perfect, perfect. And you want me to uh, Facebook Live? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? What's going on out here? We about to watch this cat. The thing is, this cat be rapping and playing the piano at the same time. That's what y'all not even getting. He's like an actual he does artist. Everything. An actual one. Everything. Look at this shit, man. Come on. I am. He said, hey. sneaking it, sneaking it. You can find it. You don't know Miss Rock and Oh my gosh. Oh, Jesus. You don't know that. All right, y'all. Share this video. Um, you ready, Shannon? Yeah. Here it is. The home yeah, yeah. You might have turned down a little bit. Yeah. Here it is, the homie Shaggy Duff performing his old single, Out of Space. Yeah. This song is called Out to Space. Seeing Out to Space. Yeah. Okay, girl, let's do it now, don't wait. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, that be? Yeah. I never mind packing up by myself just because it's a lot of stuff and I like to make sure I get it. Oh, I don't know. We, I'm here to help, man. Oh, yeah, no, I, when I start moving stuff, man, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're talking about that. You know, Do you want to try your hand at uh, filming the next segment? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to pass this to you then. Okay. All right. Um, these stop buttons might throw it off. Okay. And this is where the camera is right here, so you want to put your fingers there. Just kind of hold it to the side or hold it like that. Okay. You're good. I'm just kind of go around and see what's happening. Talk to the people. I'm gonna have to pass it off when I help him bring his stuff That's down. Cool. You want to help it right now? Well, no, he's packing yeah. it up. He said when okay. it's time to move it, but uh, I got it right now. Let's see. What's up? What's up? What you eating? I don't like how this whole happy thing we've been trying to be eating. Yeah, I mean, but since I'm eating, it's can the moment. Go follow Fat Girl Nola at FatGirlNola.com on Instagram. What type of stuff you review? The five dollar box? Huh? You type of, you you review like the five dollar box? This is my review. This bitch is good. <laughs> that shit good. Go eat it. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> the whole thing. How y'all doing? Who went, who went there right now? What y'all doing? Mika Moreau. Hey. Um, How y'all feeling? Are y'all staying warm and dry? What's up, Mika? How you doing? What's up, Mika? I don't know you. What's up? Oh, you engaging with the... Um... I'll take a look at that. Cool. Uh, I guess so. You said it was Senora? Sinyan. Sinyan. I'm sorry. Say hello to What's Facebook up, Live. What's up, Facebook Live? What's up? What you doing? All right. What y'all doing out there? Well, I think the people want to know what you're doing in here. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? What you doing? What so tell us, doing? tell us about you. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, today, um, I'm with Courtney. Okay. We have um, a lemonade line, Rockin' Lemonade. Yes. Yay. And today, we just direct, I directed a video, I mean a commercial. Come on. Rockin' Lemonade. It's her first commercial. And it's starring Jessica. Just so still. Hey. Look at you. Hey. Her son, DJ. Hey. Yeah. So it's going to be two of them. Right, okay. And and was, it was DJ crazy. was awesome. Got it. Yeah, and know. it was shot by a cinematographer. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. He, got <laughs> he is cold on the lens. Tell us his name again. I've been known as LMP. Love and pain, you heard me? So what else are you guys working on besides commercials? We have any movies coming up? <laughs> well, right now I'm um, technically working on claws. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm working on claws, so that's gonna take all my time and my energy. And you're working on it in what capacity? <laughs> I work behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah, I double for DC now. Oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, that's but what's I, up. I was on season one. I'm naked. I played I'm a bank teller. <laughs> <laughs> a oh, clueless bank teller at that. Yeah. I but yeah, so go check it out, episode nine. I needed my first season away. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. But it was kind of like I'm waiting for more. Anyway, he kinda like, but today I did my writing and my directing skills. Well, shout out to you. Thank you. Congratulations to your boat. I can't wait to see your work. I know, thank you. <laughs> and have you on the show as the guest. Right. As the guest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. 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 How long have you guys been doing what you do? Together. Um, together, um Courtney just started this last year. Okay. Right. So that's why this is the very first commercial. Good. Good. We got about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds. Ooh, we love it when they bring things. Swag. I love free. Which one you ever believe in? Dang, all this is so cool, Nessie. Wow. You said we got it for you. Ready? That's I see you, but cool nasty. Three, two. And we, we are back. We're back, y'all. Welcome back to the Miss Believe Radio Show. We're live. Um, I'm DC Paul, the Millennial Arsenio. Uh, and who's to my right side? I'm sorry, he caught me off guard with those antics. It's the one and only the phenomenal woman the phenomenal, phenomenal come on, phenomenal 
Oh shoot. What's up, Ocean? How you feeling? I'm feeling you still, fantastic. You still wearing your glow? My glow is... Mm. My pompadour is up, and my glow is gone. That's real. And who's this to my left side? It's that acting guy, Mr. Bats. What's happening, Mr. Bats? Same as what's happening about five minutes ago. <laughs> man, we're in here. We loving the energy, man. Everything going to Conversation. Cause Shag, well, I want to shout out to Shag and Delic after everything go through, cause he just ripped. Yes, indeed. For Studio Twelve Thirty, yes, but you know, he did. If you guys tune into my Facebook Live, um, it'll be available after the show is over, and it'll also be on the YouTube page. So subscribe to Misbelief on YouTube. That's the Misbelief. One word: T H E M I S B E L I E F. On YouTube and check out that video, man, because Shag was he was a dog with it, wasn't he? Yes. He was. Now who's that to your left? What's up, y'all? It's the real J Steel. The real J Steel, keeping it all the way real. Keeping it all the way real. How you feel? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling kinda tired though. It's been a crazy weekend week. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's that in the booth? Yo, this is Malik. I take I give food and I take Man, everybody's just <laughs> giving up with their taglines today. <laughs> <laughs> who's that who's that on the boards? Gum Po Joe definitely takes food stamp. What was that last song you played, my man? I see you. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I love me some cool nasty. Check us out every Wednesday at the Jazz Market, by the way. Uh, what was that you played before that? That was No Lies by Yvonne Shag. Good deal. And before that? And that was Out of Space by Shag again. Shagadelic, man. Check him out. He's a talented dude. His project, The Only Love I See, uh, is available on um, Apple Music, Spotify, all the streaming services. Uh, so check him out. Title, very talented young brother in the city doing some great, amazing things. Yes. Now here we are with our second interview guest here at, on episode 47 of, of the Misbelief Radio Show, Miss Courtney Celestine. Yo! Hey. Hey. Noise, noise, noise. Yes, yes. Hello. I'm glad to be here. Glad yes. to have you. Glad yes. to have you. Okay, so we start all our interviews off the same way. Do you know what a misbelief is? So wait, wait. What's uh -oh. the question? Do you know what a misbelief, a misbelief is? I mean, it's like when you don't believe something, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know a misbelief. Forget that. <laughs> I, I saw it. It's something about giving juice to the soul. <laughs> giving juice okay. to the soul. Okay. That's our new tagline, y'all. The Miss with the Misbelief Radio I, Show I, giving I juice, juice to the soul. Something about giving juice to the soul. That's what it is. The Misbelief yeah, Radio yeah. Show, something about giving juice to the soul. Am I right? Something about giving juice to the soul. Are you from here? No, no. You get a pass. You get okay, a pass. Okay. Not from here. So, uh, do you recognize the fruit in this picture right here? That's a Chinese plum or Japanese plum, a loquat or a japonica, or um, it goes by a bunch of different names, but in New Orleans we call it misbelief. It's what we titled the show after. Nothing, it ain't that deep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to taste this because maybe I can make a lemonade with it. Yeah. Oh. Is it good? No, you stepped up. Oh, you stepped it on us early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of stepping on my toes. I make a rum punch out of it. I serve oh, the best. Okay. I serve <laughs> the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, and by the way, it'll be available at Blazing Worship in the morning. We'll talk about that later. Yes, yes. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's all, yeah that, that's, that's all it is. Yes, I'm, I would encourage you to uh, experiment with it. We tried putting it on a cracker. We tried it in like, a white uh, person. We tried, <laughs> <laughs> we tried, uh, I tried making a cobbler out of it. So, yeah, I would say if you, if you find you something, do something with it. Um, yes, yes. So you so you mentioned making the lemonade. You are the owner and proprietor of Rockin' Lemonade, Premium yes. Lemonade. Right? Tell us about Amazing. it. Yes, yes. A millennial yeah. beverage company. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. We actually have a lot of different flavors of lemonade. So first off, I wanted to start a line that actually promotes other people to actually follow their dreams. So let's. We're going to come back to that, but we have pina colada lemonade. How many of you have tried pina colada lemonade? Right? Never. No. Until never. yours, never. Yeah, yeah. Man, I have to bring you guys some. But we have pina colada lemonade, green apple lemonade, mixed berry lemonade, and mango lemonade. So I wanted to, you know, have different flavors. Yeah, this mixed berry lemonade is delicious. It's how so good. good. But how is it still lemonade, though? How is it still lemonade? Because I still squeeze the lemons. What are you okay, talking so about? We still do the lemons and the up. sugar. And by the squeeze the lemons, I mean, she really, she is like a one-woman power. I know you, I know like, you I ain't hand squeezing seen. these lemons. No, no, I'm no, man. Say, <laughs> no, I, I, no. I, I, but if I did, the hustle, man, look. <laughs> I mean, you might as well be, though. Yeah. Just the way you hustle. Yeah, yeah. No, no. The next time someone asks you that question, just say yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> that's the answer. Say yes, I do. Like that will build your legend. I'm telling you, yes, I do. 
So we're going to treat his wrecking lemonades and some stolas, huh? Yes, Where can we man. find that? This yes, is good, yes. by the way. So, um, so you know, wrecking lemonade is actually in Baton Rouge. So I have a lot of stores in Baton Rouge. So you can find it in Calvin's Bocage Market. You can find it in Benedetto, Stets, and Addis. You can find it in uh, Eric's Groceries, and it's so, it's so crazy, guys, because it's stores that's rolling in now that literally I have to, like, kind of put a pause on it. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Because yeah, now I have to, like, bag up and say, okay, wait, now I need a team. I need a serious team. Mm -hmm. okay? and then it's just booming. Yeah, I like it. I, like yeah. it. I, I hope so, you have some plans to expand to New Orleans sometime soon. It'd be great to... Heck, Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love, love, love to make sense of yourself. You better hear me out. I think, you know, I've been practicing. That's my little gifts. You know, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it clean. You see, you've been practicing not to curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, yeah. 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 Oh, I just you know, don't, you just say that don't feel natural to Shut me. the front door. Those that's what my students do. Shut yeah. the front door. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you mentioned that this uh the, the reason you started this brand was to push people to, to follow their dreams. Like tell yeah. me more about that. Okay, so basically I will tell you guys how it started. Yeah. I was working two and three different jobs at a time just to fit the lifestyle that you know that I like and um one of the jobs actually just shut down so they had a, it had an effect on my income so I was like you know what I stepped back reevaluated myself and I'm like I don't want anybody else to have the power over my income like mm -hmm. that you know if you right. close the door you say I'm not open today then I'm looking like okay my bill's still rolling in my mm -hmm. still coming right. like what I'm gonna do you know so honestly I don't know if you guys believe in the higher power yeah. but I just I what? honestly <laughs> I honestly <laughs> Prayed. I prayed. I was like, God, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm not filling out another job application. I'm not going on a, um, another interview. You got to do something. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, I got nothing for at least three weeks. And three weeks to me at that point, when bills still rolling in mm -hmm. and my eternity. income. Yeah, right. and I'm just like, God, I don't know what you're going to do. Cause, um, and I'm telling y'all the crazy part. Like, this is no joke. This really happened. Like, um, it was like maybe. Four or five in the morning, someone was like, get up, get up. I'm like, get up. <laughs> Go make some lemonade. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Hell are you crazy? They told you to make lemonade. Like, yeah. Lemonade <laughs> ghost. <laughs> Go make some lemonade. I'm like Debo. Like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> back on my head. I'm like, nah. But then, you know, it's, I could not go back to sleep, like, literally. And I was like, let me get up and make lemonade. Notice, the whole entire time I'm making the lemonade, I don't know why I'm making it. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, maybe I woke up, I'm thirsty. You know, but when I'm making it, it was like, God was saying, this is what I want you to do. A lemonade line. I'm like, wait. Think about something else. You don't want me to sell hair. <laughs> 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 Nah, nah, let me go back to sleep because maybe this was a big crazy dream. But right. you know, mm -hmm. um, I trusted in him. He said he was going to do what he was going to do with it. Um, this company is only a year old and we're in stores. Like, well, right. Hit that right. 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 So, and shout out to you for that. Thank, Thank you. Had, there, there it Thank is. You. She earned it. Had you been, had you made like lemonade a lot before that, that point? No, no, you weren't. Yeah, that's why I wanted to actually have no, no. connection to lemonade. No. Yeah, so you, you you had lemons and, and your fridge already and all that. You you just yeah, like it was so crazy because you know I was a bartender before, so oh, I had right. a lot of sense. different. Um, I knew how to make drinks. I knew I loved making drinks, but never in a million years did I think about starting a line. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, for Christ's sake, a lot of people don't even know how to order bottles or do labeling and stuff. All this came from, he like, honestly, I'm, this is no joke. Yeah, I, I didn't believe know, it. Ain't, ain't no joke, you're right. I didn't know anything about it, and it just, it just happened. This is very delicious, by the Thank way. I would right. love to have this in stores in New Orleans. Thank it's a you. shame I got to drive to the Big Raggedy. What's your favorite right. flavor? Man, <laughs> he's like a good he he was. Was. <laughs> Thank you, Oshun. You're you. welcome. <laughs> It's a damn shame the 225 get this type of stuff. Really? Okay. Let me answer the question. <laughs> hey, okay. I'm sorry. You had a question. My favorite flavor, um, well, I started off, the mixed beer was my first, first, first ever flavor. It's really good. I ever, oh, God, it's really uh, good. Came it up with, but 
you know, it just depends on my day, man. It depends on the day. Sometimes I'm like a mango person. And then it just it just depends. I love to try that green apple one. Mm -hmm. The green apple nice one is, is yeah. in my opinion, that is I downed it in like two minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah. Could you could you tell us a little bit about some I've heard you say before that you have uh from you being a bartender, you have drinks that you like to make or alcohol that you recommend yeah. to be mixed with the different oh, flavors of lemonade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you tell yeah. us about some of those? Sure. Yeah, so, okay, so I when I first started doing events, um, just putting the word out, I had a lot of older people come into my booth like, they got liquor in it. I'm just like, mm -hmm. no. And they're like, oh, well, I don't know. We don't want to try. I'm like, hey, I got to do something about this. You, you in know? the Wallace, girl. Yeah. You in the Wallace. <laughs> Actually, the, uh, I'm hosting the second annual event this year, but it's called Rockin' on the Rocks, and it's a bartender um, competition where they make drinks with the lemonade. And, oh, you know, we had judges and everything. It was cool, man. That happens in Baton Rouge? Yeah. Oh, girl, you need to, you need to bring to New Orleans. <laughs> right. I mean, this is right. You really you should. You do. You really do. Yeah, yeah. But, so what would you suggest? Okay, so with that one... Ooh, I should just... That's the next barrier. I will go, it's I will go for Insta. a rum. It's on my Insta. But um, uh, the guy mixed tequila with that. So it was tequila. I think he used Jose Cuevo um, and Malibu. That's the crazy part. Both mm. of those together with the mixed berry. Mm. And it was good. Ooh. Okay, with the green apple, it really goes good with crown apple. Honestly. Really? So that's yeah. interesting. And, and like I was just like, that's the that's that's, that's the one that won. Because I was thinking about that one with some kind of uh caramel liqueur. Mm. Um mm. no caramel and apple don't go together? Yeah, it's but super sweet. That's like yeah. Crown is super sweet. But okay, you know it's a matter of taste. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, what, it's gonna be good to experiment with that. What was um one of like Starting, like you said, starting a business is not easy. Oh, man. So what was, like, one of the hardest humps, the hurdles for you to jump your ass over to make it? Because everyone, everything is a hurdle to so jump into the next one, to the next one. You know, obviously, you've been jumping them things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was one of the ones that stood out for you as to get this thing off the ground? Right. The I'm hardest here, one, huh? man, because stuff come at you daily. I'm still going through stuff. Real? But the hardest one, I say two hardest ones. The hardest one is, like, getting your mind to believe in, you know, what you see. You know, you can see a vision and you see yourself, hey, I'm going to win this and I'm going to be this big. If you get your mind in order and tune out all the negativity and just tunnel vision, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. that is the hardest part. Like, just seeing everybody else around you doing, like, the regular stuff. Just getting your mind. Okay, that was one. But the second Man, one. I wasn't was, hurrying you up. You speaking? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the um, second one was um, when you're starting a business and you're used to a certain kind of income. Mm -hmm. Literally, literally, all of my freaking money, <laughs> all of it, goes to the business. Like this is no freaking joke. So I was just like. God, man, I'm broke. Like, I'm really broke. I'm putting every penny I have into this business. Like, what am I going to do? Like, it it just feels that part right there, just not having money because you believing in something and you're putting all your pennies in mm -hmm. the company. That right there will make good. Because I was just like, when I had a job, at least I had money. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's I was miserable back yeah. my bills. Yeah. Right. So I, mean, I was ready to go back to work. I'm like, man, when I when I had a job, I was fine. I didn't have to even do all of this stuff. Like, you know, and that right there, it kind of, I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. No, you're doing It kind of makes you want to quit with your dream and with your vision and just go back to work and because of the money. Mm -hmm. You know, but... I'm telling you, something happened. I mean, I did a lot of crying. I'm telling y'all, when people tell y'all blood, sweat, and tears, they are not lying. Like, right, it's like a lot of blood, sweat, tears, mm -hmm. tears on top of tears. I remember just keep um, going to the track in the middle of the night. Like, literally, somebody could have kidnapped me. I would have been one of them, uh, you know, you know, they can kidnap a girl. Yeah. <laughs> we, we know about you know, the girls that get kidnapped. We know. Yeah. We know. And, and we wouldn't have had no lemonade. <laughs> yeah, but, like, um, 
So <laughs> this is a ball. He's like, oh my god. It's very and we just, we, did, we, did we just go there? It's like, yeah, you know how to be kidnapping girls. We, we went there. That's my sense so yeah. casually. Like, yeah, you know how to do something. We see not knocking on wood up here, y'all. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be a kidnapped girl. You know, I'm going to be selling fish plates on Fridays. You're going to be kidnapped a girl. Everybody knows. No, but seriously, like, um, just running, running the track over and over, just crying, trying to figure out, should I keep going or should I go back to a regular job, you know? And you just got to go through different Different stuff. Well, we're on the street. Is you just shot a commercial for Rocky Lemonade earlier today, oh, huh? Man. She did. Yeah, yes, that's yes. you making these moves, young lady. Um, so that, how how was that experience? Because we some people here, some have uh, acting and film and television experience. We know them them days on set can be unnecessarily long. It's a mm -hmm. lot of hurry up and wait. Hurry up, not wait. Not mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That was was that your first time shooting a commercial, or did you have Yeah, experience? man. No, I don't have experience with filming at all. So I'm thinking, you know, because I film stuff with my phone. <laughs> 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 we film it in like one or two takes, man. He kept going this frame, that mm -hmm. frame, shooting here. That I'm like, man, we just did this about about fifty times. Like, <laughs> but but honestly, yeah, but honestly. It, it, a lot of people always say, man, um, you should feel, you should be happy, but it's so crazy because when you're in the zone, you, oh, oh, so, so mm -hmm. much stuff go on in your mm -hmm. mind and you just don't even, honestly, I need to take advice and live in the moment and like, honestly, just yeah. be, take it in and be like, God, thank you, man, you're really blessing me, yeah. but I still be like, Oh, Lord, please let it work. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. And then it was raining today, so yeah. I was already like, oh, man, this not going to work. Mm -hmm. We got flooded out, man. It was just. So are you looking forward but to. But it, um, it got done. It got done. Yeah, it got done. Yeah, it got done. And you looking at me. Did it get done? <laughs> All right, he got done. Exactly. All right. I want to give a shout out to Ivan, though, man. He um he's an amazing videographer. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so are you looking forward? So you know how they do that um National Lemonade Stand Day? Yes, we um, do it every year. Yeah, like we we yeah. did that last year with her with her her nephew and niece. And um, like, what do you do for that? Oh, let me tell y'all. Okay, so you know we've been we've been in business for a year, but this year coming up this year. I am sponsoring kids. Nice. So, Already, good um, word. so maybe about twenty five kids. I'm mm -hmm. sponsoring them. So, I'll put it up on my um, website. My website is www.therockinglemonade.com. Um, when it's closer to that time, and the first twenty five kids, I'm sponsoring them. Nice. Honestly. Let me hurry up and get my awesome. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> my long. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Again, that's yeah, the rocking right. the rocking lemonade dot com. Tell me, I can one. follow you on social networks. Malik, like, okay, a oh, I'm sorry. I think I think did, did Malik have a question? I ain't want. Um, I just want to know what are your immediate goals? Like, what are the three things that you, overnight you can have for your company? What are those three things that you see in the near future you want to accomplish? Okay, so top three goals, man, is to actually get it out there where I have a huge distributor so I won't be, you know, riding here and there right. and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, and then I don't have to say no to stores anymore. So um, the second thing I want to do is, honestly, man, this, this is a big step, but, I mean, you know how y'all have coffee houses? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have the CC's, the Starbucks. I actually want to start the lemonade spots. Lemonade stand. You know, a real stand, right. Yeah, real not, it's stand? Not, it's nice. not, not really a stand, but kind of like, you know, it's going to be like the, the same vibe. The same vibe. The same. They're going to call it a stand it's regardless. They're going to call it a stand. It's a cafe with, uh, yeah. with a stage. I think you better take that yeah. name. Yeah, I think that it, it would be a real cute the name. You paint it yellow. Man, yeah. look. Yeah, and then, you know, just have the good vibe in there. You can mm -hmm. go in there and mix all kind of different. You can make your own lemonade. You come in there and be like, oh, add some blueberries today. Add some this today. Do that, you know. Now, that's, so a yeah, that's, that's a rock and lemonade stand. Yeah. Yeah, rock and lemonade. Yes, awesome. yes, I'm claiming that. And you said the third thing. You said yeah, three things, but, great. Lord, Lord, I want to stay humble. She said, I want to get a big distributor. I want to open up my own store. 
but I'm stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know, I know with a lot of small businesses, they have Shark Tank now. Have you ever thought about going on something like that to see if you can get investors to help you get distributors and things? Yeah. Um, okay, so a lot of people say, go on Shark Tank, go on Shark Tank, you mean you crazy, you go. I'm just like, you know what, if Shark Tank presents itself to me, or mm -hmm. if the most high say, yes, you need to three. go on right. Shark Tank, I'm going to be like, cool, because honestly, I I only listen to the upstairs voice. Mm -hmm. That's how I've gotten this far. Like, right. I take a lot of people's opinions, you know, and I put them in, and mm -hmm. I'm like, God, you want me to do that? Because if you don't say nothing about it, I'm not about to jump. You know, so if he tell me, yeah, I'm going on there. But for right now, I have a few investors that's ready to invest, but you know. I heard that. We so yeah. you you so it. Tank, so you you please, you go right around Shark Tank and then yep. they make a million some other kind of way. Right. You so heard me? So uh, tell them where they can follow you on social networks to keep up with your progress. Yes, yes. I want to know. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can follow me on IG. It's at Rock and Lemonade. Um, Facebook, I have two different accounts. I have a business account. It's <laughs> Rock and Apostrophe Lemonade. Mm -hmm. And where you just want to follow me personally, it's Rock and Lemonade, but you know, I have a few stuff on Rock and Lemonade, but I really promote other businesses. That's another thing. Like, I'm a small owned business, but if I know you, um, you have a business also, I'm going to visit you. I'm going to, you know, right. whatever you're doing, if you're selling clothes, if you're um, doing workouts, I'll do a workout and promote it all on my page. It's about supporting the community, man. And likewise. So yeah. um, we now follow uh, Rock and Lemonade on Facebook as we see you sharing any update. The Miss Believe page is dedicated to sharing it as well. And yep. we, we got our support from here on out. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to seeing Rock and Lemonade in these New Orleans gas stations. Yes. 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 Can we get some apples? Yes. Can we get some apples? Right, so yes. I can buy my, my liquor and lemonade at the same spot. Yes. Take it outside and shoot and drink it. Nah. Oh, yeah. I have one more thing I want to tell y'all, too. Okay. Give it to us. Man. I'm starting to grow my own doggone lemons now. Hey, that's Ooh, yes, yes. I got three little lemon trees, you know, the little lemons trying to grow on them. Right. But, you know, the goal is to have about 50 of them things. Uh -huh. And those are amazing. I grew up with a lemon tree on my backyard. Yeah. And the real lemons, they get big. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I yes. I need that. I need that. I'm tired yeah. of buying from them and it's going up and down. The prices go right. up and down. Mm. So, literally... I'm like, I'm about to just start growing my own lemons. Do that. That's Rock so lemonade smart. lemons. I go to the lemons and I'll be like, you're going to be famous one day. You know what I Driven and you know where you're going. Um, thank you so much for coming, Courtney. Thank you. Thank and you. Keep thank it you up, girl. Keep pushing. Keep, keep, keep doing Please. everything you're doing. Yeah. I'm inspired by you already. Thank um, you. So Keep that up. Thank you so much, Courtney Celestine. Check out Rock and Lemonade at therockandlemonade.com and Rock and Lemonade on all the social networks. We're going to keep up with the system, what she's doing. No G's. No G's. Rocking, like, like the black people say. It's rocking. rocking. You got to rock. Rocking. Rocking. Still. All right, Joseph, what you got? What you got queued up? Gumbo Joe, the birthday boy. Yo. We, 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 we used to play some of this new music now. We got a bunch of new stuff and people ask me about the, the new music. So coming up, we got to play something we ain't never heard before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this lemonade is damn good. I, I see, mean, it's almost gone. Yeah, I, I feel like I should have saved something for when I got like to some type of uh, clear liquor, but this is this is good. <laughs> some type, some type of clear liquor. liquor. Some rum or vodka or tequila, like you say, this is good. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, so this is Welcome to the City. <laughs> About Quentin Hakeem. Stay tuned to the Misbelief Radio Show, y'all, and um, don't get none on ya. <laughs> Thank you, Quentin. Cool. All right, Quentin, you gotta send us some more. Yes, yes, man. I wish I had more. I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, I just. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I'm, I'm pleased. And then I was out. I'm so happy you came. I'm so happy you came. Shaq. Shaq, real quick, you want to take a picture? Yeah, 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 absolutely. All right, Brian, what's the first one? All right, let me see. So, oh, watch. There's, there's two new ones on there already. All right, see, this is which one. Go uh, back to the... Magic, so, oh wait, I put Magic I'm Gray in. Perkins is uh, new. So, someone, all right, all right, uh, that's mine. Uh, is this Erica Flowers new? We played it last week. Okay. So Amber Perkins and who else? The... Uh, I already did turn the page with Trey Parker. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Let's go to it. 
Go back to the uh, the main music. So you know you something that's real new, like 2018. We've never played this J Harmony song. Which one? Trippy. Uh huh. All right, that's the one I got Trippy on there. Okay. Trippy's next. Okay. And then uh, if you look up, um, what's her name? Uh, Princess Shaw. Go to the keys. Princess Shaw. We haven't played that before. Yeah. Please play that. Alright, what else do you need? If you want to take a chance and go up, I'll play these as an asshole. So, we're going to have a new music. And we can either uh, play these, but they're all some artists that we already played, but maybe different songs. I know those are clean, but then you go back. There's some, there's a whole, like a whole list of songs that we have played, but I have a list of them, so I don't know if they're clean or not. But you want to take a chance, and when it says not check, all new. It's a big, big bomb. See the not check? All new. All new. I just have to listen to it. Uh, I don't know. Some of them weren't, weren't labeled correctly. So I'm not sure who it is. I have to go back and label them because they weren't labeled correctly. No, you lying. I swear. What the hell is no problem. Fortunately, I was named before that. So. Yeah, man. Oh, okay, Shaq. No, I was. I'm talking about you. I was. Yeah, man, Shaq will show you. I want to try this lemonade. Where can I get this in New Orleans? Guess what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Titty fuck pussy nigga shit right in the asshole with a big old dick. God damn it. Cut. Fuck ass niggas. Damn. Shit. <laughs> Geneva, you watching this? Are you watching this, Geneva and Raheem? Yo, Did you go hear try your rocket lemonade. It's delicious. The uh, I keep wanting to call it prickly pear, but it's the green apple. It's like if somebody took crack. And black men put it in a bottle. Black men eat. The fat Carnola um, next series. That looks so good in your yellow and your green. Like a little Power Ranger. Huh? <laughs> oh, she, she a yellow. Superhero man. woman. I think, my bad. I didn't know you didn't like Power Rangers. That's fine. I'm just joking. What happened to DC's um, headphones? Uh, this is his headphones. No, it ain't. His headphones are going to be over here. I know, but that's his. I know. I have these. No, I don't need. I'm just saying. Let's read this thing. Oh, my God, I'm going to sit. A show about closing this door? I might want to keep it open for a second. What's this? Was this here last time, y'all? What? This little poster. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's Suno's um, Black... Carson, take your black history. back. Oh, but Joe, how you feel about being back in the booth? I know. <laughs> you look a little stressed. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like getting back on a bike. Yeah. No one likes to get back on it. Yeah. 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 But, uh, it's, it's, it's what I do, you know. Even on my birthday, I work because that's the Hebrew in me. <laughs> Always work. We got a question coming in. When is the mixtape dropping? 
Mixtape for me? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm mixed and I got some tape in my house. What you want to do? <laughs> mixtape all night. <laughs> but I don't know. It's going to come out in 2018. But then I'm going to drop something. All right. You know what I'm saying? You on internet? Yeah. What is it? I'm texting you, Brian. <laughs> True. Oh, what is that? What is it? First, we'll be doing checking this. Okay, make sure the story's going. Okay, I don't even. I'm doing working on this. I'm not even. Facebook Live. Okay. I want to ask y'all a question. Are y'all watching Black Lightning like Mark? <laughs> Are y'all watching Black Lightning? Because y'all need to be watching Black Lightning. Yeah. And I have a new Black Lightning review podcast, so go on flywoodbass.podbean.com. Me and my dude, Marty Edwards, are reviewing Black Lightning every week. I'm dropping an episode tonight. Check us out and watch... Oh, we on live! Motherfucking Black Lightning. Yes. Public <laughs> service announcement. Black Tuesdays, Superior. right? Tuesdays on the CW. Tuesdays at 8 on the CW, and then fuck with us at the end of the week to hear what we gonna talk about it, because we go in on the topic, you hear me? All you can do is follow my Facebook when I'm live tweeting, live Facebooking, because, you know, I got my opinions. Check it out. Awesome. What you watching, Jessica? So, God, I recently, you know. Oh, I think I know what you're gonna go to. I think I know. This keeps happening to me. People, oh my God, you have to watch this. Oh my God, you have... And I'm like, okay. And then I go watch it. And it's mm-hmm. shit. Mm. I started Black Mirror. And I sat through the first episode. And like, I zoned out. Like, that's how bad it was. Like, <laughs> it got to the end and I was like, oh, found it. I forgot this was on. So somebody was like, okay, okay. just keep watching so, it. Get to the second episode. It's so much worse. Get to the next episode. Even worse. I'm like, okay, so when is this going to be good? So apparently people are saying, I had people saying different things like, oh, there's only one episode, season four, episode four. That's that's the one. You mean to tell me? I think that show has like five seasons. Out of five seasons, there's one. And y'all are okay with this? Y'all are taking y'all time and y'all hours and y'all bro- No, I'm not doing it. So, yeah, that, that's been... What's been going on? Kelsey agrees with you. Can't yeah, stand I, it, she said. Thank you, Kelsey. It's terrible. And see, I'm weird. I like dark, sort of twisted, kind of strange. Like, I'm really into American Horror Story, so I thought this was like the Brit version of that. It's, 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 it's just it's shit. Mm-hmm. Was it black people in it? Black mirror? Black the dude people? from Get Out is in the second episode. Oh, okay. Black people, you know, little, you know, little droplets of chocolate. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about titty crumbs? Yes, chocolate titty crumbs. Chocolate titty crumbs. I can just copy and... Chocolate titty crumbs and white milk. Okay. Oh, what? What's this? Okay. We got some alternative music in this bitch now. Mm-hmm. Is that... Is I like this. this. We're about to go back and live. Yeah. Look, we've got 30 minutes left. Okay, let's see. Are we about to go back? Because Jill's not here. Uh, is that song was for He told me three minutes about a minute ago. Okay. Is it? How much time do we have, Joe? Huh? How much time do we have? Uh, on this song, you have uh, a minute left. A minute right, left? 30 seconds, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Say something real quick. Okay, uh, tell them where they can find you in Baton Rouge. You can find me in... Okay, so... You like close... Okay, so you can find me in Baton Rouge. Okay, Market. Okay, Market. Yes. Right by Town Center. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Just And we are back. We're back. Welcome back to the Misbelieve Radio Show. 
You're listening live on WBOK AM 1230. Give us a call, 504-260-9265. We talking about, well, before I do that, who's this to my right side? Hi, Hi everybody. Me. It's me, the one from Nomi Oshu. And who's this to my right side? Yo, this is Malik of No No Latours. And on my left? That actor guy, Mr. Betts. And to his left. This is Jay still keeping it real. And over there in the booth. It's your boy, Gumbo Joe. Wine, posse, wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wine. Uh, what was that you just? What that last song you just played? First of all, that was that was different for the Mr. Big Radio Show, but I liked it a lot. Uh, that was in the Into the Ashes by Catherine Rosewood. All right, Miss Catherine Rosewood, thank you for that submission, Into the Ashes. And what did you play before that? Before that was a new single from Jay Harmony, Trippy. Shout out to Jay Harmony for that new single, Trippy. And then before that, what you had? We had Welcome to the City by Brother Quinn Hakeem. Quinn Hakeem. There it is, man. We only play music by these local artists here on the Miss Believe Radio Show. Um, once again, give us a call, 504-260-9265. We talking about what's going on out here. What's going on out here? You heard me? Talking about local talking points, news stories, topics, events, whatever's going on out here. I got a quick one. Man, you know how many former guests on the Miss Believe Radio Show are performing at Jazz Fest? How many? This year? How many? Okay, we got Ten of the Bangers. One. Raheem Glassby. Two. Ikea Javon. Three. Karen Green. Four. Joshua Kegler. <laughs> five. Shagandelli. Six. Hey. Did you say, you said Raheem. Yes, I said Raheem. Am I missing anybody? Uh, Come on, I want to say seven. So bad. I want to say seven. I, I feel like seven. there is somebody else. Somebody we might think about. Mm. Mm. We gonna we gonna think of that's at least that's at least six, six, six mm. artists. We did say my kid. That's at least six six artists uh, that we've had on this show. Yes. Uh, out here getting that work. So shout getting out to all work. of them. Congrats, to y'all. Looking forward to seeing y'all. On, on, at the same festival as Anita Baker. Mm. Yo. Yep, man. Oh my God. Aretha Franklin. Oh my God. Aretha, well, yeah. Oh my God. Aretha will be there. That's what I heard. But Anita, but Anita Baker is what I'm. What I'm Listen. Aretha was going to be there selling patty pies. <laughs> 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 Don't Childish. Childish. But that's what's going on out here. Uh, Oshun, what you got, baby? What's going on out here? Man, it is Mardi Gras time. Sure is. I just wanted to say that, but that's not really what I had going on out there. Oh. That was just my favorite thing to say. I'm sorry, I'm a New Orleanian. But a on a lighter note, they have Cuban dance practice, you guys. That's right. For the inner, inner Latinx in all of us. If you would like to go <laughs> if you would like to go to the Holly Grove Market, either January twenty eighth, which is Sunday at eleven thirty AM, or February fourth, which is another Sunday at eleven thirty AM. We will be having a free event to come join the salsa dancing. It's for beginners and experienced dancers. I will be there on the fourth, doing what I like to do, oh which is a little bit of yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> so don't meet me there. Beat me. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Mr. Bass, what you got? What's going on out here, my mans? I mean, Ronald Gasser was found guilty of manslaughter. Right. Woohoo! Can you Woo! feel a brand yeah. new game? Yeah. 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 Got him. One for the whole That's team, what's up. Jeremy. That's what's up, I guess. <laughs> Oh man! What? We can't celebrate. Happy? I mean, Why? you murdered this man. You get manslaughter. And manslaughter, you could get as low as like 40, 50 months, man. I want you to get murdered, son, because we get murdered out here. Like Up to forty years in prison, but there's a minimum that is way less for, for taking somebody's life. And dude, like they, he, his whole his whole deal was this man jumped into my car. I was I was I was scared for my life, and then all the evidence showed that man even jumped in your car. So you just straight up murdered. This man. Just so right. that's what's up. He's going to jail. He's not like he's a cop or anything. So, you know. Right. But, you know, it's not. It's, that's what's up. He's going to jail. But it's like one of those things where I feel like y'all throwing us a, a kind of win. But, you know, that's what's up. Right. It's still what's up. I mean, yeah. It's, it's still what's up. It is. But it's, it's not like what's up. It's, it's what's up. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. I'll take it. Go to jail. Go to jail. Yeah. But don't get out in 40 months, man. 40 months? That's a, it's a possibility, is all I'm saying. It's a possibility. Oh, y'all yeah. don't do that to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm saying. Right. Because I'm like, hold on. You're a white man in jail, man. That's I all mean, I'm going to leave it as. But, that's uh, all that yeah. Okay. That's something that's going on out here. I'm, I'm going to double up on something that's a little bit more hype. Uh, Tales from the Hood is about to start, too. It's about to start filming in New Orleans. I heard that. I heard yeah. that. So, I heard about that. You getting that money? I don't know yet. Oh. That's all I gotta say on that. Money. But uh, Tales from the Hood 2 is filming in New Orleans, and as you know, that's like a cult classic. I, I shared it on my wall that it was coming here. It got like a hundred shares, dog, and I gotta, mm. I gotta admit, I've never seen part one. Oh, 
Oh wow! What? Really? Have you ever seen I haven't one? either. Oh, the whoa, shame of whoa, 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 whoa. I know. I, I didn't want. I was I was just gonna say like I was gonna make that joke, but I didn't want to be racist. But he, don't, <laughs> you know, he look like he look like one of those little dolls. So he, oh. he do. oh. And that's, that's that's not even shade. That's a revelation. That's what that this is, is a revelation. That's the oh, truth man. is what that is. But I can't even take like the that. lick, but I'm glad we get in the business in the city. True that, man. Yes, indeed. True that. That's, shout out to that. That's what's going on out here. Uh, Jay Still, what you got? What's going on out here, man? What's up, y'all? I want to have a Fat Girl Nola moment. This moment yeah, is being brought yeah, to you by talking. Fat Girl Nola. Please uh -huh. follow us on Instagram at Fat Girl Nola. You better your brain. Plug, plug. Visit the blog at fatgirlnola.jimdo.com. Visit our YouTube at Fat Girl Nola. Visit our Twitter at Fat Girl Nola. Damn. And like us on Facebook at Fat Girl Nola. Hey, all right, all right. Better. So, can we get so, our bite? Plug <laughs> it, plug it, plug it. So, a couple of cool things have been happening. I'm going to talk about Mardi Gras really quickly. So, y'all know it's king cake season. Yes. We know all the places to go get king cake, but they have some restaurants, bakeries that are doing some different things this season that are really cool and really yummy that I want to suggest. The first one is Haydale's Bakery is doing something called a Russian cake. It's basically mm. a form of a king cake that's from Russia, but old Russia. And they take leftover cake and scraps it. and smush it together. This one is for the adventurous sort of people. It's not for your uh, untrained palate. So I would say try it. You I'm know, I'm try it, like but have an open <laughs> mind. Um, the next one is actually from oh, Frey. Okay. Frey's Smoked Meat uh, Restaurant. Yes, I love them. They are so good. I've been there many times. I go there strictly for the milkshakes. Yes. Uh, they have and these giant. They have these giant yeah. colossal milkshakes. They have one that's like a cookie one. And they put uh, vanilla ice cream, Oreos, um, I think chocolate chip cookies, all in a cup. And then they put a giant Cookie Monster cupcake on top. And the Cookie Monster has a cookie in his mouth. And then they have another one that's like a bacon, maple, sundae Jesus. shake. But now they have the king cake shake, which has oh, its, no. its king cake flavor. One. But then they have the Dong Fong king cake in it. And then the specific the picture, Dong Fong. Mm -hmm. That Dong Fong king cake is yes. what's happening yes. first. First yes. of all, I'm a... He said, I can put no disrespect on the Dong Fong. I want to get the little one. one. I want to do a quick, quick tangent about Dong Fong. So you can't just walk up in there and get no, no king cake no more. You got to call ahead of time and order it online. Yeah. And you can tell they are so busy. You can hear it when they answer the phone. Like, yeah. they don't, they don't want to hear playing. it. They're like, they don't want to hear anything from no, you. No, it's a line. The no. website ain't working well. Figure it out. Try it later. Broken. You know, yes. <laughs> Everything's <Right>. broken. <laughs> it sounds like they got a line and they don't have time for nothing. But I ain't mad at them. They think it's good. But that shit you talking about mm -hmm. the picture made my teeth hurt just looking at it. Oh, it looks like extremely sweet. Had you, you had it already? I haven't had that one yet. No, it looked I've like I've had many of up. their other just going off of their other shakes. I usually have to share it with like at least another person, yeah. And, and then, even then, we're both just like we can't do this. And it's a piece of cake, yeah, in it, yeah. So if you, do, if you do go and try it, bring a couple of Malik Lacassipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, hey, I, I, I got to tell you his stomach up. Yeah. I love it some sweet stuff, but that I feel like I would stay away from it. I, I got these new teeth, and I'm trying to keep them in place. <laughs> I feel try, like that would try, F it, try it, up. try it. That's new a thing. this. Yeah, um, that's one of the reasons why I haven't tried the, the donut king cake. Cheeseburger. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. That, that, that like it won't mess my stomach That's up. from. That's oh, from. That can be delicious. That's from food truck. It actually food, is. It's so it's good. Food truck good. Nola parks on the parade routes every year, and they especially make that every year just for carnival. It's amazing. Try it once. Either you love it or you hate it. Like there's no. So it's a king cake cheeseburger. Yeah. It's so the bun is, is coated in king cake icing and the granulated sugar, and then it's this really beefy like patty with bacon and cheese on it. It's really good. You like a professional fat girl. I I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah, fat so the last one is actually from a uh, Quentin's ice cream, which is one of my favorite local ice cream brands. You can find them in grocery stores all around New Orleans. I think they also have a store uptown, but um. They made a king cake ice cream recently, but what's different about this one from the Bluebell one is that they have a giant baby on the inside of the ice cream that's made out of royal icing. Yeah, it was mm, edible. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. mm, this, this is a so local really uh, cool. ice cream brand that does this one, right? Yeah, and this is, this is something new that they just started doing. So that's definitely on our hit list of things to try, but I would totally recommend because Quentin's ice cream is amazing, and nice. they make it locally. So... Uh, my, my mama just texted me asking me what's the name of the, the shake place again. Should probably be in town. Frey, Frey Smoked Meat Company. It's on uh, Carrollton mm -hmm. in the city. Frey, so it's actually a smoked meat company? Yeah. Yes, and they, they have, have really the good best chicken wings. Listen. They do, they have very good meat. And a half an no. hour is $6 for the chicken wings, <laughs> and you get buku of them. 
And <laughs> y'all tried it. And they had five dollar well drinks and mixed drinks because I know because I got drunk that one time. Me and my uh, girlfriend Jolene. And how I old is Jolene? <laughs> no, Jolene is old. Call her sound like an old lady, but they act like old ladies as well. We do. They do. Listen, it's they a great like place to be. Their name is, is Jolene and Arlette. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> You know, what's going on out here, my man? Man, on the Miss Believe Show, you can always know what's going out here in these streets. And tonight, Uptown, at Tipitina's, it is going down. For Lanyap, mm -hmm. DJ Rockaway, the What Is Away team. And oh, yes, Joseph Pye's birthday. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's, so, it's going, so it's going down. I mean, great music, DJ Rockaway, and we also... Prosper Jones is giving a live performance. He was also one of our previous guests. Seven. Right? Seven. <laughs> we gonna just add him. Seven. 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 Wait, you said he was at Jess. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just sitting right there. I'm sorry. You weren't at Jess. I'm sorry. Seven. My bad. You're just a guest. Yeah, My bad. I was like, wait. <laughs> wait. Hey, we can speak that check into his life. Uh, yeah. the, the misbelieve one ten percent if that happens. Yep. Um, but yeah, man. So it's gonna be a great night tonight at Tipitina's Uptown off Napoleon. DJ Rockway. Come party with us. Yeah, man, DJ the Rockaway, rainstop. he always uh, plays <laughs> on to Patina's, and he knows how to ride the vibe. It's going to be a good time. I'll be there, um, and I might bust it wide open for Joseph's birthday one time. I might have to. It's your birthday, homie. It's your, it's your golden birthday. <laughs> Make I'm sure somebody's recording. I'm going to catch a wall on you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what's going on out here. Uh, Bass, what you got? What's going on out here, my man? Um, okay, something that's going on out here, you feel me? I can't, I can't, can I speak on this Texas inmate that was caught <laughs> running back to jail with food, or does that not count? That, 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 that don't count. 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 Alright, we're going to rib Slidell then. Slidell <laughs> okay. had a whole candlelit vigil for this target. <laughs> That's so lame. Man, that was a highlight of somebody's so lifetime lame. out there. Bro, how do you have a... They so lame. You, how do you have a... They so wack. Who allowed that? <laughs> <laughs> they should have brought out a hose. No. No, no, no not a hose. Take the mic. No, not a hose. I heard Take it was even, even K-Mart employees out there. Like, oh, we don't we good for Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It, made me remi it reminded me of this song I saw on the internet, and I can't say it because it's, they have the N-word in it, but it's... Really miss my N word. Take the N to the W. I really miss my W word. Yeah, that's all. And it's just funny reading the story. They say Target is set to close its Slidell location on Airport Road on February 3rd. The move announced in November was met with sadness in the community. I'm sure. That's I was like, I was like, oh, <laughs> that target affects the community. You want me to tell you why, That's though. the black lightning of Slidell. <laughs> have, you have you seen target sweater selection? Absolutely. The, the city is more than... That's because in a small town like Slidell, they would have to come across that bridge to find more employment. Oh, so when you, cut, when you shut down. down the target... Yeah. They have to travel farther to actually get good jobs. One shop until Eyewitness News. It's just a store, but it's our store <laughs> that we go to as a family. Oh, wow. We have a rigorous process in place to evaluate the performance of every store on an annual basis. He's from Slidell? Closing or relocating underperforming, underperforming locations <laughs> as needed, and we miss it. We're going to miss it. They're going hard for this slide tail. Yeah, for their target. I want to thank like, you for the right. St. Tammany's accent. St. <laughs> <laughs> Tammany Parish, everybody. Yeah. Give it up for St. Tammany. What if this is a black man? Who, who is <laughs> oh, oh, God, Chase McGee. I believed you were the one target. You were supposed to be the one whom I spent the rest of my days with. Oh, my God. No, Chase McGee. <laughs> Y'all didn't. They doing too much. They were doing too much. Target. Ta target. I mean, when it, when it comes to these superstores like Walmart, Target, Walmart, target, target, is, target is, is the supreme. Yeah. I'm mad y'all came for Target. Right. Right. I, I am not. I kind of would be missing. If that was the only target this is a target in my blouse. vicinity, oh, this is okay. Target okay. like is the only <laughs> store. Period. I'm saying um, so you can put a whole wardrobe to get that target. Okay. That means like, you can't do the same blouse. thing. Yeah, you can go grocery board. shopping. Exactly. <laughs> Especially in Gretna. I get it. I get it. Like, that was their only form of entertainment out there, though. You said what? That was their only form of entertainment in Slidell. Don't say that. I hope Will did it. Yeah, I'm talking. I hope Will did it. Target to us. But I can understand that because when we lived in Mississippi, that's how we was about the Walmart. Like that. Yes, <laughs> yes. When I lived in Houston, yes, Walmart was uh, Walmart was a highlight. So I can understand like if that's the, one of the big things. Like it's a family. I'm like we're gonna go. So I've been gonna walk these around things in public. Walmart or Target. So I can see. It. But think about you in a town that don't have nothing going on. So walking around looking at food in the aisles is what's supposed to get me going to, 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 to buy my window shop. 
Listen, sometimes I just realize that people go to uh, Costco as professional uh, samplers. Sample surfers is what they call it. Sample surfers. Yeah, we, 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 went, we, went, we went sample surfing with Manny King a few days ago. And, like, I didn't know yeah, there's certain little nooks and crannies you got to go down in order to get this and that. But, like, it could be a lifestyle hanging out at these stores. At Target. At that store. It was I that. get it. All right, I, hey. So Target got high quality everything as far as mm-hmm. I'm concerned, mm-hmm. man. Yes. Well, why we, why we banging at Walmart's right now? He just threw that out. I feel like that's the only. The racism is treated right. <laughs> Oh, I got what's going on out here. Um, so uh, the Greedos table is a storytelling event happening at uh, oh, that was an accident. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> right. Cultural Arts, and I believe it's on February third, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what time I thought it was showing? It's off at nine, nine to four. Nine to four. They have a different. Uh, it's a you can win some money. So there's like a, a child uh, competition, and then there's like a young adult and adult competition. Somebody can walk away with some money for being the best storyteller. Mm. So check that out, man. Let's, and let's support to criminal more often, man. I've been yeah. some really nice events there. Um, they black on across the canal, nice little cultural center, and um, I, I rock with them. I will be there. It's a competition, winning free money. I, Cannon I, to I, the I, right of them. Cannon. <laughs> In front of the father, and I'm a winner. You, for you, you could, you could take home all the money at a storytelling event. So I'm here for it. I'm here for the cannons. Who next? Just have you got what's going on on our show on your birthday? Take your voice now, first of all. Yeah, appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Speaking yeah. of Boogie, uh, he's doing a comedy jam tonight at the Sanger Theater, uh, featuring some um, some big names, but but also our former guest from a few weeks ago, Mr. Mark Caesar, mm-hmm. is doing a Sanger Theater for the second time tonight. Yep. He's sharing the stage with people like uh, DC Young Fly, Ricky Smiley, um, and some some other names. And but, that boy uh, haircut was fresh on the Instagram and the so Facebook. It, it Lord, that boy barber is right. Please. Can I can I say that that haircut had holes? <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> I think, I, I think that. I might have that, that haircut. That, that, that haircut got holes already. Many. I'm sure that. Just the haircut. Um. Anyway, that's what's going on out here. Uh, what you? Who got something, Bess? I, mean, I, 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 I always got shit. something, you feel me? Because we can even kick it back to what you talked about from Jump, the 93,000 pounds yeah, man, of beads wow. found in this. What you oh, said? Yeah. No, go ahead. What you talking about, Malik? Well, no, just, I think as creators, we got to give a shout out that PJ Morton, it will be on the Grammy carpet on tomorrow. Yes. He is nominated yeah, for three nominated. Grammys. And I think this is going to be a precursor because next year, New Orleans coming hard for the Grammys. Yeah, I'm talking beautiful. about tanking the Vegas. Uh-huh. I'm talking about your boy. Doing church, your boy pal. We coming for the Grammys next year. Yeah. Luke James. Yeah. Luke James. James. So I think next year is going to be like New Orleans Grammys. Yeah, we're and we're going to bring 93,000 pounds of yeah. Mardi Gras beads. All of them. All, all of them that we found in that citywide catch basin. That's all I'm saying. I want to know whose job that was to do that. Sewage and water board. Yeah, which, was, yeah. That was, yeah. That's a lot, and they said it wasn't even like citywide. That's just from the, the St. Charles parade route. Oh my so, um, did they ever get clean? Right. What you exactly. mean? Well, they 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 sucked it out. out of the, I think did they say they sucked it out? Or they found it. You know, it, it's it's very roughly seventy seven point two million pounds of debris removed from Clark City was, catch basins across the city during a four month emergency cleaning program, including more than ninety three thousand pounds of Mardi Gras beads. I wonder what they're gonna do with all that. Mm. Mm. You need to burn it. Melt it down and do something with it, man. You know what? We can melt it down and put a statue and um, hop in a circle. Uh, um, <laughs> circle. You know, the place formerly known as Lee Circle, they can just melt it down and make a statue. No. I believe Don renamed that Leah Chase. Yeah, that's Leah Chase. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I heard somebody had a great idea for these for these blue bikes. Um, they said <laughs> that we should uh, we should uh, steal all the blue bikes and then melt the... the Met- and then melt it down, and then we can rebuild the pipes with that with that, that metal from the blue bikes. 
That's what I heard. Somebody said that was a good idea for Philly. For now. Malik is so against it. He's over okay, here shaking his head roughly Yo, against I just, you. First of all, he said... I'm, Stealing bikes. We I don't know. Steal, <laughs> steal the blue I'm on, bikes. I'm on record. We're melting down <laughs> the pipes in the city. I think that's that's the best usage. I mean, for the, I for feel like bikes. that's a very good use of the blue bikes. But honestly, and, and, and how you if, gonna steal them? Okay, they got well, GPS okay, well, on them. How about this? Instead of instead of doing that, we could we could act take them down Nola. Take down them bikes. Take down them bikes. Take down them bikes. Why do gotta be blue bikes? That's like the police. Why do you have black bikes? Do you you're, you're serious. <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. No, no, we're not going down there. We're both. Exactly. You're not. But do we have time to run about about Monique before our last two segments or not? No, we don't no, have we time. No, we do have time. To run no, we don't. Because that, that's Oshun's friend. We don't have time. Yeah, that's Oshun's sure. friend. We don't have time. And she likes what she's saying and doing. Well, listen, y'all, I love us for real. This is your segment, man. This is but this is my second favorite segment here on the Music Believe Radio Show. It's where I give our resident rebel, my homie, Mr. Betts, I give him free reign to go unbridled and slap somebody on the back of their neck. So, yes, we do have time to talk about Monique. Because oh, that's the one yeah, who's getting yeah, the neck yeah, this week. Yeah, that's why I was like, no, we're not going to talk about it early. We're going to talk about it late. And we all going to talk about it. What is wrong with you? I'm like, what in the world? Come on. Like, okay, I'm all for I'm all for black women getting their money. I'm tired of people out here on Facebook saying just because we think Monique is tripping a little bit that y'all against black women getting their money. No, we not against black women getting their money. We got to look at the money. We got to look at the business. What, what, name me a Monique. Classic special. Oh my god, the Parkers. <laughs> Name me a Monique classic joke. <laughs> Mr. Overman. <laughs> <laughs> Name me an arena that she sold out. That, uh, that community college that her and Kim went to. Because <laughs> all y'all coming for why she ain't getting Chris Rock money, why she ain't getting Dave Chappelle money. Uh -huh. She ain't Chris Rock and she ain't Dave Chappelle. Now, if you want to have the conversation about how in the business it's harder for female comedians yes. to come up, you can have that conversation. That is the truth. But what gets me by Monique is this. She wanted all us to come behind her, but where was you when the black boys killed in the street? We don't see Monique rallying. Where was you when all the girls got kidnapped legitimately? Le legitimately. We don't see Monique rallying. Where when you was on, when the Parker was popping. This issue with black women and with women in general and with all minorities not getting as much as white men in the industry has been, 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 been going on and I don't remember you when you was up and you was on and you was getting your monies going, look, let me look. She tried to come at Oprah talking about Oprah ain't never look out for no black women. Whenever you looked out for some black women. Don't you come at Oprah. Crickets, crickets, and when we look at your industry, when you look at your situation, Oprah got a problem with you, Tyler Perry got a problem with you, Lee Daniels got a problem with you, LBT Lady got a problem, Deborah Lee got a problem with you, now you got Roland Martin having a problem with you, oh, no. because you tried to come for Roland Martin talking about, how come you don't never have black women on your show? Did, did, did Roland Martin said, what you talking about, do you watch my show? Boom, 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 so it's like, come on, and then he let it be known of two other, Will Packard don't like you, all these directors don't want to work with you, but you trying to make it seem like it's just the industry. Industry being sexist. Yeah, the industry is sexist, but you ain't the message to be coming with yeah. that. Yeah. Straight up and down because once again, you're not relevant, so of course your money gonna go down. You ain't been doing nothing. You got, and then the dick or the room is this. You out here mad, and that's another thing. We all broke out here. You want our broke asses to get mad because you ain't make half a million dollars. And women think that you hey, look, sorry, I ain't make my 500k neither. Wham, wham, wham. You was offered three mil. You was offered three mil. I think three mil is more than enough for what you have not yep. done in the past exactly. ten years. Exactly. I ain't see almost Christmas. Exactly. I'm sorry. Exactly. I'm sorry. Exactly. Paul Mooney is a legend in the game. And guess what? Paul Mooney ain't going to get $20 million like Chappelle. It's about business. Amy Schumer sucks, but it's about business. She relevant. So look at yourself in the mirror. Take your own licks. Look at your freaking self. And while you taking your own licks, you're going to see me in the back with this shaking butt hand. You're going to be coming. You're going to be like, oh my God, who's that black man? Oh my goodness, what's going on? I'm going to be like, make your neck bend. Because you getting that neck, that neck, that neck, that neck, that neck. And this for Mr. Parker, because you were sexually harassing that man the whole show. He had Stockholm City. Syndrome, and it's Stockholm Syndrome is why he gave it to you in the finale. We ain't playing that. Mr. Parker, I see you. You was a victim. Straight up and down. <laughs> no, he's sweating. Mr. Parker. So, hoi me, girl, go 
Man, so I was, real quick, I think that this is the most buzz Monique has had in a long time. Ever. If, if her husband is smart, they would parlay this into a tour. They could call it, I ain't got nothing to prove to or something like that. But then they, she would go on tour, film her own special, uh -huh. and mm -hmm. then shop that special to whoever wants to get to what she feels like she's worth. I'm going to say this prove it. This would be the perfect time. Be yeah. the perfect prove time. it. Yeah. Go get your money. If you can show that you can make those numbers... Yeah, do it, do and it. then they have to do pay it. you. Do it on your own. Put your own money behind it. Like, talking about why Trey? Talking about they try to compare to Trey Ellis Ross. Honestly, 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 this is the perfect time for it. Like you know what? This is buzz. Well, you know what? I love us for real. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I, what I don't like. <laughs> yeah, what, what I don't like about this whole situation with Monique, or even with the Jada Pickett Smith, is that when you have influences and places to position black women better, you have never done it. Uh -huh. We can use Shonda Rhimes. Viola Davis once said, I would never be cast as a sex system. Shonda Rhimes went in her closet, created a show just for Viola Davis. That is a, her empowering another black woman. Right. So when you use Monique, you have never done anything for anyone but yourself. Right. Right. You had a so, yeah. 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 And I think it's messed up for her to be playing on people's emotions right. by making yeah. it into a race and a gender thing. When it's a personal gripe about oh, her you. ego, it's, it's a, a thing. I think it's an ego her thing. Her professionalism, yeah. honestly. Oh, she's the only person in the States who do, don't agree with us. Apparently. <laughs> she, I, I guess she's a big Monique fan. <laughs> she know. like, it's almost Christmas. It's this Christmas. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> that is very proud. I was in almost Christmas in 2016. I am relevant. What? what? Come on. Miss, I am oh. Professor Ogilvy to the BS. I'm, I'm, <laughs> she going to touch on you? <laughs> nope. Doing a Heisman on her for the, for the whole season. That's what I'm doing. <sighs> what? Uh, Monique, M to the O to the... Uh... <laughs> That's Moesha. That's Moesha. <laughs> M to the O to the... What you got? <laughs> what you got? I don't, I don't have anything to say to you guys. Okay, because well, I, I can understand... You can understand what? I can understand what it's like. To, to be, be full of yourself? To be told things that she was told about just play your role and things of that nature. That's why she won an Oscar. And I can I can understand her plight as a plus size black woman. Oh, stop it. In the entertainment industry. She ain't lost no more. Okay. <laughs> she, she is. She's no, medium. No, she lost all that weight. No, she she's, still, she's still a plus size woman. No, no. She, okay. she regular size. No. Okay, we're going. But I understand. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and close out the show. Out. I'm sorry, she loves all that weight, and now Tyler Perry is a big, loud black woman that everybody loves. It's true. Um, so, uh, we like to close all of our shows uh, with this little segment. It's where we let our two Sankofa birds take a look back at it. Sankofa session. Give it to a show. Well, we know that we're in thrones of Carnival and Mardi Gras, but here in New Orleans, we have a season that's called Parade Season. And it's not Parade Season, it's not because of the floats, it's because of the bands. So the Sankofa session is dedicated to Edwin Hampton, the founding director of the St. Aug Marching 100 Band. Okay. Mr. Hampton was born in Jacksonville, Texas in 1928. He came to New Orleans to attend Xavier University. Mr. Hampton will ever be remembered for the looks and sounds of his Purple Knights, the purple and gold band that marched down Carnival each year. This high school has contributed a lot in the musical traditions and culture of New Orleans. This band has played and achieved national renowned success, performing national blah, 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 yeah, performing <laughs> for eight U.S. presidents, several Super Bowls. The tournament, the tournament of Roses Parade, and the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. You know, I'm not too fond of the purple and gold, but <laughs> I would say <laughs> that um, St. Aug Band was the first black band to march <laughs> in the Rex Parade. And while they was marching in the Rex Parade, these young men were being cursed at, they were being spit on, but they remained, um, they kept their composures and they um, kept with their ranks. And that's a, um, a tribute to Mr. Um, Edwin and his discipline that he gave these young men throughout their practices and what he gave to them. Hmm. Unfortunately, Mr. Edwin passed away in 2009 after a long battle with dementia. He is noted as saying that St. Augustine was not just a place of employment, but it, it was his life. That band was his life. So today, Mr. Hampton, this one's for you. All right. All right. Thank you for that one. Yeah. <coughs> Mr. Hampton. Uh, I was wondering if the river, did you go to St. Louis? Did you say you, went to, you did not? Oh, 
Yeah, he, he went. <laughs> he said that was a real poop when going Warren Easton. Shout out to River Smith, man. Uh, new home heat. A member of the Misbelief team. This has been episode 47 of the Misbelief Radio Show, yo, you guys. Yo, yo. The show is just getting better and better. Shout out to Shaggy Deli for coming through with the new music. Mm -hmm. Shout out to and Courtney. Performance. And a performance. That was dope. Shout out to it was Courtney. so Shout out to Courtney for coming through with this delicious lemonade. Mm -hmm. Tell me what to follow you real quick. Oshun, O-S-H-U-N-S-L-11 on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yo, Malik, you can follow me at No Nola Tours and at Frozen Photography. Martin Bass Bradford at Mr. Bats on all your social media platforms. Gumbo Monster 504 on YouTube. Fly with Bats on iTunes. Jay Steel, follow me on Instagram. I am Jay Steel underscore and at Fat Girl Nola. Gumbo Joe at Facebook, <laughs> Joseph Appleman Pies, Instagram, Alexander the 83. And if you're ever wondering who is DC Paul, check out whoisdcpaul.com and who is DC Paul on all the social networks, you guys. Um, check us out next week, same time, same place. Don't get nothing on ya! Give ah! yeah. life! Oh. Miss Monique, if you ever want somebody to play your bio, uh, bio pick, I, I, no. I'm here for you. <laughs> I will never burn a bridge. <laughs> I'm here for everybody to get their coins, but don't be putting your problems on other people when you're making your own problems. It might be in my Real. Yo, Joseph. Come on, Joseph. Come on, Come on, this is him. Come on, Joseph. It's breathing. I'm home. Yeah, I'm home. I'm home. Yo, we had another good show. Thanks to all the millions and millions yeah. of watchers yeah, and fans yeah. and listeners yeah. and subscribers that we have. We love y'all. I love us for real. Uh, <laughs> shout out to all of y'all. Y'all gonna stop me. And that's his friends. Uh, <laughs> thanks. So cool. Special shout out to Alpha Man Joe Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. to the man, <laughs> Brian, for holding yeah. us down. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Hey, come on. Keep bringing the chest hair back. <laughs> yeah, 1970 in these seats. Brian is in a sweat hotel. My bad. <laughs> 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 yeah. We see y'all next week. Uh, share the video, man. We had, a, we had a good time. Go back and watch it. It was funny. My hair was swinging all over the place. Rockin lemonade, oh, is that more lemonade? Bitch. Oh, that lemonade is Rockin fucking lemonade. delicious. It should Rockin be called lemonade. fucking delicious rocking lemonade. Rockin that shit lemonade. is so good, man. Um, shout out to Courtney for coming through with the free lemonade. Shout out to Shagadelic. This album is called The Only Love I See. Available on all the uh, streaming services. And uh, we'll see y'all at Tipitina's. Yeah. Yeah, who was with he on the field? I don't know. We love y'all for real.